was starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil force of negation. Jace, the mind sculptor. Yes, please. <laughs> Yanma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain Magic has ever seen. Mox Tantalite Foil. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Foil Fiery Islet. Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands. Same pack. Oh my god, let's just see what rares behind this thing. <laughs> Oh, I can't! I can't! That is a foil. Oh, ah! And we got the Liliana. We got her. Hey there, everybody! Welcome. To Magical Mystery Auction uh, at CoolStuffInc.com. I'm Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing today? We have uh, some more Throne of Eldraine to do today. And uh, we've had quite a hot run yesterday. We had we went through five boxes, five collector boosters. We saw all kinds of goodies. We, saw, we had one box and one uh, collector pack that had a... Foil Showcase, Realm Cloak Giant, and a Foil Circle of Loyalty. We've seen uh, Foil Extended Art, uh, Fires of Intervention, or Fires of Invention, and just numerous cards over and over. A uh, Alt Art Non Foil, uh, Royal Scions. Just gas on top of gas, on top of gas in every box. And now we've got some more. I've got more. I've got five whole more boxes and collector packs so uh for those just tuning in what we're doing is we're doing the com we're combining the box and the collector pack so we're going to do first we're going to open all of the packs for the box and then we're going to open the collector's uh booster and we're auctioning off every lot specifically let's go to those slides here and see what we got going on and once again we're going to start off with the uh Gold cards, colorless cards, and the land cards, all the way down in that bottom right there. But we're going to, uh, remember, anything that you get, you get it. So any of these alt frames, extended arts, whatever, you know, out of these collector packs or the regular boosters, what have you. So then we're going to go do the white cards, the blue cards, black cards, red cards, and the green cards in that order. So, you know what, let's... Uh, kind of jump in there see how we're doing here let's go in for the uh going for these color or these uh gold cards colorless cards lands all the things here we go all kinds of stuff we got these uh fable passage you got all the castles all of the planeswalkers i mean we saw a couple locos yesterday a couple garricks a couple royal signs like i mentioned before we did see that Alter, alternate frame uh, Royal Scions yesterday, and it was fantastic. Which was maybe a little bit on the foil end, but you know what? We got a, I think we got a good shot at that today. Maybe not Royal Scions, but hopefully we can hit that sweet, sweet foil Oka that's like $150. I'd love to see that, wouldn't you guys? Remember, if you see anything, it's foil, yours. Any showcase cards, yours. Not that I think there's any showcase cards in these... Uh, colors but you know what I, where i'm getting at here we got we got just good stuff on top of good stuff on top of good stuff if you ask me put in those bids exclamation mark bid space whole number no pennies dimes anything like that but we'll get you in here we'll get you going remember we can ship anywhere anywhere five dollars shipping the continental u.s ten or uh fifteen dollars excuse me uh, for the whole rest of the world. So, there we go. Oh, are we going to see a scoop here? All the way in. T. Simic wins. $65 winning bid. You know the drill. Contact CSI underscore auction help. 
and let's keep it on going here. Going on in to these white cards. And, geez, we hit every single one of these yesterday, and they were just gas. We hit the foil Harmonious Archon. We hit the foil Showcase Realm Cloak Giant and a regular one. We hit a foil Circle of Loyalty. We hit just everything. And there's just tons of fantastic cards here that are well worth grabbing. Charming Prince is a fantastic card. I think that card's going to see modern play even in humans. Um, you got Hushbringer. It's fantastic. So many, so many good cards that I think are just well worth uh, playing across a variety of different formats. I mean, we were already seeing Realm Cloak Giant a little bit here in the um, uh, Five Color Golos Field of the Dead decks as a little way to clear the board when your opponents are just a little, little too ahead. Um, Circle of Loyalty, just a hard-hitting card. Maybe not the best for standard right this second, but it's always great in EDH. Harmonious Archon, fantastic for, like, cubes and such. And again, Hushbringer, that card's just really good for, like, modern decks. Maybe even Legacy to an extent. It's just, it's got so many applications. I think we're going to see some serious play from a few of these cards. And it looks like we're winding down on this white here. So, Great Lord 72 wins the uh, winning bid of $21. Contact CSI underscore auction help. They, they will get you set up with your payment. And with that, let's go on to these blue cards. So many good cards. So many good cards here. Check this out. Brazen Borrower. We didn't see a single one of these cards yesterday. No Brazen Borrowers. None. You know what that means, right? It means there's got to be some Brazen Borrowers in here, right? Come on. And hopefully some, uh, some showcase ones, too. I would love... Love to see some showcase um, Brazen Borrowers here. And some Emery's as well. We saw a couple regular Emery's. We saw Showcase, Fave Witches, Fantastic Cards, uh, Mirror Maid. We saw a Foil Mirror Maid yesterday. That was great. A, uh, we saw Magic Mirror. I mean, we saw pretty much everything here except Brazen Borrower. And I, I got a really good feeling that we're going to definitely see some Brazen Borrowers here coming up here pretty soon. Very, very intriguing that they actually said in the uh, M Files article this uh, today that came out today that um, the uh, Brazen Borrower apparently was never supposed to steal anything. It was always supposed to be a bounce effect, and it's very strange flavor if you ask me. But very good card, very strong. Lots of standard applications, probably even modern applications. Well worth. Picking up, uh, you, you love to see it, you know. Um, we saw Showcase Hypnotic Sprites a bunch yesterday. I think we saw like four or five of those non-foils. So, <clears throat> those are always worth a couple dollars. Very well worth it. Blue is definitely excellent. And it's definitely a good spot to be in right now. All right. So, and remember, if, you got, if we see any foils, if we see any extended arts by chance in these uh, collector's packs, you win them, they're in their colors, you get them. All yours. And there it is. Uh, Steven. I can't uh, pronounce the rest of that still. I'm just going to say Steven. Steven, uh, with the winning bid of $45, please contact CSI underscore auction help. They will get you set up. <coughs> Let's move on to this black lot and see what we got going on here. Oh boy. Murderous Rider. This card is on real levels of good. It's not only Hero's Downfall, but there's enough support with like these adventures. You get a lucky charm down. <laughs> you, if you drop a lucky charm and cast a Murderous Rider, you kill two creatures, two planeswalkers, what have you. And they're just going to get wrecked. I've seen it popping up. There is a deck with that in uh, standard currently using like the great henge and such and it is definitely a powerhouse the card is amazing and is going to see play for a long time any format that sees uh that uses hero's downfall is probably going to end up uh slipping murderer's rider in there somewhere rankle master of prankles it's like uh it's kind of like uh in a way 
a bit of like the second coming of Liliana the Veil. It's not quite that good, but still very, very strong. Wish Claw Talisman is a really sweet tutor effect. And I mean, the Cauldron of Eternity is just going to be an EDH staple for years to come. The cards are unreal, they are amazing, and they can be yours. Uh, bid on them, we got, again, any foils, showcase cards. And we did see a showcase Murderous Rider yesterday. We saw a couple of the, um, oh wow, I can't remember its name. The uh, adventure creature, Uncommon, that uh, draws you a card, loses a life. We saw a couple of those showcase. Red Doyle. Wins with the $31 bid. You know the drill, dude. Contact CSI underscore auction help, and they'll get you set up. Now let's go on to these red cards. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, so we got tons of more good cards here. We saw all of these and more yesterday. We saw Robber of the Rich. We saw some Bone Crusher Giant. We did actually see a couple showcase Bone Crusher Giants. The card is gorgeous it looks amazing we got ember cleave fervent champion with that sweet gorgeous javier dominguez world championship champion artwork tor brand is such a good card for edh cubes uh even standard maybe even a little modern maybe question mark big question mark um and definitely not on here but should be on here this Fires of Invention, that card is a powerhouse right now. It's very good in standard. It's going to be great in EDH, probably. Good in cubes. It does so much. It can let you drop, you know, tons of big giant cards for very little uh, mana, very little cost. So, I'm very excited. Card is amazing. I think definitely deserves a spot on here. Definitely, at, least, at the very least, deserves... The shout out. There's so many great cards that we can get here, and uh, nothing to say about again some more showcase cards. There's the uh, Manic Vandal card, uh, Ember something uh, Shield Breaker, and that showcase art is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And it's just good cards on top of good cards on top of good cards that can just show up here in this box in this collector pack. So many great cards. And remember, you open foil, it's yours. Can we see an extended art? Yours. Showcase? Yeah, you better believe you're getting that one. Uh, exclamation mark, bid, space, whole number. That's how you get in on this action. See, we got, we got these bids going on here. Going in hard. And uh, don't forget, there's not really any sniping. For, uh, we see any bids or anything, if you try and get that last second bid in, then uh, you still get that little countdown, the 10 seconds, 5 seconds, no matter what happens, it resets the timer basically. Um, yeah, let's see what we got going on here, are we going to get it? Is that it? Is that it? There it is. B. Cobell with a winning bid of $30, please contact CSI underscore auction help, they'll get you set up your payment. And now... We've got one more. And this one's a doozy, everybody. We got green cards. Green cards for days. So many good cards here. We got Questing Beast, Once Upon a Time, The Great Hand. You got that big honk, Gilded Goose. We got the exclamation mark goose command here for whenever we see any Gilded, ge gilded Geese. Uh, Love Struck Beast Showcase. We saw, we saw pretty much every one of these yesterday. We saw like Three Once Upon Times, three or four Gilded Geese, saw two or three Great Henges, a couple of Questing Beasts. Just value on top of value. These boxes are just nonstop gas on top of gas. See, Foil Questing Beast, yours. Foil Gilded Geese, now, that would be something beautiful, wouldn't it? Foil Once Upon a Time, jeez. Cards got so much, so much value, so much potential in modern legacy. People have even been playing that card in Vintage. And trying it out there. It's unreal good. And I think it's going to be played for years and years to come. I can't wait. Let's see what we got here. We're almost there. Mew Hunter. How's it going? We're going to... You going to get this? going to get these sick foils? going to get this 
extended art, some showcase cards. What are we doing? What are we doing? You guys hype? I'm excited. I am super, super hype to see all these sweet cards open. And, boy, there's definitely, you know, we're here. We're here to make stories. We're here to make the action happen. And, like, we're seeing Simics right now. Got that thir sweet $33 high bid. And, I mean, we saw yesterday a bid just like that. Lower end and just had Questing Beast, Once Upon a Time, Gilded Goose. And it was just... Pretty much every value green card you could imagine. We saw it with white yesterday. $25 bid. Won like $60 worth of cards in one swing. Easy. You can definitely run away really hard. Really, you know, and do really, really well on these packs and on these boxes. I can't wait to see what we open. And there it is. 11 bids. Sees Red Doyle winning. $34. You know the drill. CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you hooked up. So that, let's bring it back to me. Hey there, everybody. I'm Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl. We're here, Cool Stuff Inc. headquarters in Orlando, Florida, doing the sweet Magical Mystery Auction. As always, we're gearing up, getting ready for our first box and our first collector's pack of the day. But we've got to wait a little bit. We got... You know, we've got to wait for all these payments to go through and come in. So, you know what? We're going to have a good time, and we're going to throw in a nice little giveaway, I think. I think, I think $25 sounds more nice, don't you? I, I sure do. Get yourself in here. Exclamation mark, enter. $25 gift certificate to CoolStuffInc.com. Just get yourself in there. It's free. Enter. Throw yourself in there. I'm, I should probably load up Twitch right now and just, you know... Pull it up myself and hit, whoop, enter. No, I'm good. I'm not doing that. But um, it's just, it's that easy. Just type exclamation mark enter, you're in. No matter where you are in the world, we'll hit you with that $25 gift card. And you can buy it, you spend it on whatever you want. Singles, boosters, sleeves, dice, deck boxes, board games, D&D books, or other RPG books, whatever you want. Uh, we can't use it on these auctions, unfortunately, but there's just so much other good things that you can pick up that it's like, why not? You might as well. Fantastic. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> goose. Exclamation mark goose. Big old honks in chat. <laughs> I'm like, who's ready for some Throne of Eldraine, everybody? I'm excited. You think we're going to actually see there? I'm super hyped to, to get there. <laughs> All right, so how are we looking, everybody? We're waiting on two. Two more, there it is. We're so close yet so far, so let's see what we got. Outrage 96, thanks for that follow. And there it is. Guys, if you're just tuning in for the first time, if you're enjoying the stream, having a good time, then uh, consider tossing in that follow button there. Or maybe even if you want, you can, you know, we got that Twitch Prime sub. Uh, you can just throw a subscription. We got that sweet flower emote. We got Mo Money Mo Auctions. Her face up there is an emote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're doing one of these auctions every Friday throughout the month of October. So you might want to, if you're enjoying this and like hanging out here, you like seeing some boxes open, even if you're not maybe buying the cards yourself, just want to see some sweet packs open, maybe consider throwing, hitting that follow button, that nice little heart there, and throwing it up there, and uh, we'll let you know when we're going live, at least Twitch will. So, there we go, looks like we're just waiting for just a minute or two here, we're getting there, we're getting there, om nom nom. I'm ready for I'm ready to see some hungry hungry critters. I mean, I'm, we're going to see quite a bit of food out of this one. And I can't wait. Anyone else everyone else excited? I'm excited to see some packs open. We are good to go, Kendra. Oh, there it is. So, Rich, let's go ahead and pick us a winner. Giveaways closed. 
Let's go. So you just let them know. Red Doyle <laughs> wins the gift certificate. There <laughs> it is. <laughs> Congratulations, you know the drill. Contact CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you hooked up. <laughs> All right, and with that, we're, gonna, we're good to go. So, let's bring it on down to me, this mighty hand cam. See this? We got a sweet box here with all the good stuff. And we're gonna take this nice little pen and just make it Rippy, rippy. I love doing these. It feels like I'm just, I just get to channel like m my favorite pack openers all the time. Channel open boosters, it's fantastic. I love it. You guys hear me all right? Testing, testing. All right, well, let's just get going here. We'll see what happens. There it is. Okay. So we got Mantle of Tides. Let's see here. All right. We got Lonesome, Witching, Lash, Spore Cap, Prophet, Scorching, Secret Keeper. Fine then, keep your secrets. We got Embereth Shieldbreaker. That's the one I was talking about. Let's get that in with that showcase. We got Giant Opportunity. It's definitely a Giant Opportunity with these packs. And we have a, oh, see that? That's an M right there. That's a Mythic. And that feels like, ooh, Outlaw Merriment. There it is. First Mythic, right? first pack is a Mythic right out of the gate. That's a good way to go about things. All right, so we've got Wishful Merfolk, Seven Dwarves, ha ho. We got Lost Legion, Silver Flame Ritual, Searing Barrage, Eye Collector, Charm Sleep, Lockwing Gargoyle, First Uncommon, Shine Chaser, Sir Allen, The Lion's Claw, Edge Wall Innkeeper, and a rare. Storm Fist Crusader. We saw a whole bunch of these guys yesterday. Super good card. Shows up in, uh, I think there's a like, Rakdos aggro deck right now. <coughs> that is showing up a bit in standard. Fantastic, fantastic. Tempting Witch. Spore Cap. Trapped in the Tower. Borrow Witches. Monitor. Paladin. We got some Skull Knocker Ogres. Bognati, fantastic card for limited, venerable knight, and a rare Castle Ardenvale. Heck yes. We're gonna take that. These castles are all fantastic cards. Every single one of them. I love I for one always will be glad to see those cards. Many players were vastly underrating a number of them when they first hit, but I think they are well worth it in every capacity. So let's see what we got. We're gonna keep some secrets. Oh, we got a Steel Claw Lance, first on common. Epic Downfall, Ferocity of the Wilds, and a rare Midnight Clock. Yes, please. Very awesome. One side time history for EDH. We'll take that. Oh my gosh. Bartan, Ardenvale, Paladin, Miss uh, River Turtle, Foreboding Fruit. Paladin, Grange, Reeve Soul, Fling, First Uncommon is Drown and Lock, Frogify, Tireless Snacker, and a, oh, see that? That's a Mythic right there, and I see some green, I see some black, that is Garrick, Cursed Huntsman, heck yes, we're getting the sleeve on that one, E-Z-P-Z, -Z, right in the sleeve, there he is. Boom. All right, let's see what we got. We got Prize Griffin, Mantle, Raging, Lost Legion, Fell the Pheasant, Weapon Rack, doing its best reverse, uh, Serrated Arrows Oppression. 
We got Spinning Wheel, Improbable Alliance, OK Adversary, and a rare Return of the Wild Speaker. So we got that Garrett Glass pack, and now, now it's coming back. Love to see it. Love to see it. Heck yeah. We're glad you saw him too. Always good to see more and more, more Planeswalkers, am I right? Wolf's Quarry. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. A lot of people had a problem with the number of walkers that we saw in War of the Spark, am I right? Wintermore Commander, first uncommon. Arcanist Owl. Trail of Breadcrumbs. And a rare Mirror Maid on that blue slide for a reason. Card is fantastic. No foils yet. That's really interesting. We had one yesterday that was like four foils in our first four packs. And it was great. Uh, Raging Red Cap, Lonesome Unicorn. I love Lonesome Unicorn. I think it's great for uh, Great and Limited. My very first draft for the set, I had like four of it and just trounced my opponents. We have a Rally for the Throne, first uncommon. Animating Fairy, Fairy Vandal, and a rare. Oh, it's another Mythic. We got a Robber of the Rich. Robin Hood coming in to steal yo goods. <clears throat> No sleep on that one, but it's pretty dang good all the same. I'll tell you that much. Be happy to get that, especially uh, winning some red there. Excellent, excellent. So we got some Queen of Ice, Fell of Pheasants, Wild Tracker, Jasting Dummy, Out Muscle. We got our first uncommon is Mystical Dispute. Great card, Mysterious Pathlighter, Sir Conrad the Grim, and a rare. Oath Sworn Knight. It is but a scratch. It's just a flesh wound. Look, your arm's off. No, it isn't. <laughs> chicken. Chicken. I can do that whole skit. I love it. Love that movie so much. Mystic Sanctuary. Card is busted. Red Cap Raiders. And our first uncommon, Keeper of Fables. Venerable Knight, Burning Yard Trainer, and a rare, woo, Showcase Giant Killer. That's sweet. Very nice. I don't think we're uh, no sleeve on this one, but oh boy, that is a spicy showcase card to be showing up there. I love it. You love it. Love to see it. Let's keep it going, though. Got more Seven Dwarves, Fairy Guide Mother, Curious Pair. Vantress, Reeve Soul, Roving Keep, Corridor, Flutter Fox. Ooh, and we got a showcase. Flaxen Intruder. We got a Sir Eleanor of the Discerning. A Madarata. And a rare. Oh, that's a regular giant killer. Would have liked to see some uh some foils in there, but you know what? We'll see him eventually, I'm sure. I'm amazed that we haven't seen any so far. We're almost a third third uh, way through this box already. And so far we haven't seen any yet. No foils. None whatsoever. Very odd. But we'll get there soon enough. Got some bacon and some pies. Steel Gaze Griffin. We got our first uncommon Spectre Shriek. Drown in the Lock. Frogify. And a rare Worthy Knight. We have been deemed worthy by the worthy knight i'll take it take it got some running away together for boating fruit henge walkers earring barrage taking out that loch ness monster shepherd of the flock first uncommon arcanist owl trail of breadcrumbs and a rare charming prince on the slide for a reason card is fantastic He's a lot. It's going to see a lot of play. It's got tons of applications all across the board. I love it. You love it. Can't wait for it to see play. Ogre Errant. Boating. Tome Raider. Uh, Tree Folk. Cards in the wrong spot. Whoa. Skipping ahead a little bit here. To another non foil. Showcase Hypnotic Sprite. This card is fantastic. Definitely super playable. I love it. 
Order of Midnight, and a rare Wish Claw Talisman. Very nice. Card is slowly but surely climbing up in price. Very, very powerful card, and I think it's great. It's on that slide for a reason, and always going to be worth having. It's part of your collection. We got Sexual Appetite. Uh, we saw a, uh, a playset of the Showcase Hypnotic Sprite yesterday alone. Drown and Lock, first uncommon. Turn into a pumpkin. Archon of Absolution and a rare. Stolen by the Fae. There it is. And I think that we actually have a foil on this one. There it is. Showcase Merfolk Secret Keeper. You can keep your secrets. We got a foil showcase card. Yeah. Keep it going. Let's go. Thrill of Possibility. Silver Flame. So tiny. So very, very tiny. Knight of the Keep. Red Cap. Mystic Sanctuary. Keeping those secrets. For Fireborn Knight. First Uncommon. Keeper of Fables. Grum Gully. And a rare. Happily Ever After. With, ooh, Crashing Drawbridge Foil. This card is really good. I think that card's actually going to see some amount of pop play at some point here. <clears throat> it's not very often that we see an effect that literally gives every single creature haste. And, uh, especially not in, like, in Popper. So I think it's definitely going to see some applications at some point. It's just a matter of where. I think it can see a lot of play in EDH and maybe in some other formats, too. Got an Inquisitive Puppet, first uncommon. Sir Conrad the Grim. All that glitters is gold and a rare... Wild Born Preserver. Heck yes, we'll take that very much. Card is great. I love seeing that one. <coughs> very playable in all of these Simic Flash kind of decks. It shows up quite a bit. It's great. It's great. Putting cards in the wrong spot, I'm finding. Got Festive Funerals, Return to Nature, Silver Flame, Barrage. Eye Collector, Charm Sleep, Lockwing Gargoyle. Another one? Another one? We had another showcase hypnotic sprite. Ah, so good. Congratulations, Blue Winner. Interesting. I feel like we had this exact same pack the last time that we saw the uh, hypnotic sprite here. We definitely had a hypnotic sprite and a Order of Midnight, so that's really interesting. But we got to move it on. So we got a rare Iron Crag feet. Very, very nice. Wow, though. We've seen so many of these showcase hypnotic sprites in the last couple days here. I wonder how much more we're going to see. Unreal. Unreal. Oh, well, you know what? If, if we're going to see one in that massive a quantity, hey, I'm very okay with it being the hypnotic sprite. That card is fantastic. We got an Overwhelmed Apprentice for the first uncommon. Sir Alan, the Lion's Claw. Mad Arata, and a rare. Doom Foretold. That's a good deck right now in standard. Very much of a great card. What are you guys all playing in the uh, arena right now? Anything fun? Anything exciting? We got FNM. First FNM with Throne of Eldraine tonight. Everyone uh, all excited? Everybody got some decks planned out and ready to go? I can't wait. Epic Downfall was the first uncommon. Kind of skipped through that a little bit. Shepherd the Fox, second uncommon. Into the story and a rare. Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Heck yeah, very nice. And we got a foil. Tall as a beanstalk. Very nice. Alright, we're about halfway through this box so far. I want to see some really sweet foils popping up very soon. I said it a couple times yesterday. My very first box that I ever opened for myself out of the set. Four whole foil rares. That's right. Four foil rares. One box. I'm skipping through this too quickly. You got Lucky Clover, first uncommon. Witch's Oven is the second one. Thunder Snapper and a rare. Sundering Stroke. Very nice. Big, giant adamant cards. How do you guys feel about that adamant mechanic? I think it's alright. A couple really good cards in that mix. 
Slaying Fire is an amazing card for any mono red deck, basically. That's how I feel about it. Gingerbread Cabin. We got Silver Tracker. Okame Ranger, first uncommon. Shambling Suit. Turn into a pumpkin. And it, oh, it's a mythic. Looks green. No text or anything. Oh, it's the Great Henge. Heck yes. We'll take that. We'll get a sleeve on that. And we even got a foil rare here, too. Stolen by the Fae. Sure thing. Yes, please. Let's take this sleeve up. This Great Henge right here. There we go. How's that looking? That nice, pretty sleeve. Love it, love it, love it. <coughs> let's go, let go, let go. Gotta keep them coming, keep them coming. Oh, look, at we're sleeping this stolen by the fate as well. Very nice, very nice. So we got Weaselback Redcap, Fairy Guide Mother, Tree Folk, Forever Young, Silver Flame. We got some Barrage actions, Charm Sleep, Gargoyle. Trapping some towers. Got a Fireborn Knight. Sir Farron the Hedgehammer. Fog Naughty and a rare. Vantress Gargoyle. Very nice. Very nice. Card's definitely playable in some capacity or another. It's just a matter of where at this point. But I think that's the case for a number of these cards. It's only week one. People are still figuring out what's good. What's going to be the deck to beat. And uh, I can't wait to see what's going on. I'm seeing already a lot of great decks on Arena. We've got a Wander Mare, First Uncommon, Glass Casket, Cauldron Familiar, and a Rare. Lock Mirror Serpent, Needs about Tree Fetty. And a Red Cap Rider, Raiders Foil. Very nice, very nice. Needs some Tree Fetty, everybody. Tree Fetty. But you didn't say please. You didn't say please, so. I don't know. I don't know that we can continue on with these packs. Crashing Drawbridge, Tall's Beanstalk, Borrow, Beloved Princess, Inquisitive Puppet, first uncommon. Rally for the Throne, second. Sage of the Falls, and a rare. Love Struck Beast. Very, very nice. Seeing some play in that Adventures uh, deck right now. <clears throat> Great. Good card. Use Lucky Lucky Clover, the Edgewall Innkeeper, Great Henge, a bunch of other stuff. Fantastic deck. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to trying to trying it out myself. Got Henge Walker, Searing, Loved, Merrileaf Pixie, first in common, Burning Yard Trainer, Beanstalk Giant, and a rare Emery Lurker of the Lock. Heck yes, we'll take that. And Charmed Sleep Foil. Very, very nice. Emery is great. Card's worth a pretty sizable amount. It's, like, honestly just on the cusp, I think, of being sleeve-worthy. But card is fantastic, and it's already seeing a ton of play in Modern, in EDH. And it's going to be played for years to come, I think. So many applications for that card. Crash and Jawbridge, Resolute Rider, First Uncommon, Tournament Grounds. Inspiring Veteran, and a... Ooh, it's a Mythic. It's blue. It is the Magic Mirror. Very nice, very nice. We got a foil, too. Resolute Rider. Heck yeah, that is a pretty foil. Pretty foils. <coughs> Love to see him. Excellent, excellent. And let's go, let's go. Bartered, so tiny. So very, very tiny. Arvale, Lost. Speaking to a Pie. Signpost. Unexplained Vision, Once in Future, First Uncommon, Sir Kara the Bold, Sir Farron the Hedgehammer, and a rare Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrag. Heck yes, with a foil, Happily Ever After, heck yeah. Woo, beautiful, beautiful, we're getting the sleeve on that. Foil alternate win condition cards? Yes, please, Let's. we'll take those all day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go. Let's see what we got in this next couple. We've got just a few more packs left in the actual box box. Let's see. Dwarven Mine. Oh. Throwing cards everywhere, apparently, now. Wander Mare, first uncommon. Flaxen Intruder. Into the Story, and a rare Hushbringer. Look at that creepy, creepy artwork. 
Spoopy, spoopy. Love it, love it. All right, so we got Crystal Slipper. Moonlit. Malevolent. Signpost. Unexplained. Sorcerer's Broom. Do, 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 do. Righteousness. Heraldic Banner. And a rare Castle Vantress. Yes, please. Love these castle cards. And a foil dwarf in mine, too. We still got plenty of time, plenty of opportunities. So we got, including this one, six more booster packs to go. Still can see some more mythics, some more foils. I'm a fan. I can't wait. If it didn't say please. So we got some more gingerbread cabin, wicked guardian, blowing some houses down. Witch Stalker, Elite Headhunter, First Uncommon, Foulmire Knight, Cauldron's Gift, and a rare Castle Embereth. Yes, please. We'll take all of the castles thrown our way. And a Foil Edgewall Innkeeper. That one's really nice. The card's actually standard playable right now. <coughs> so we'll take that. We'll take those excellent foils right there. Yes, please. Playables are always great. Tome. True Love's Kiss. Smitten Swordmaster, Crashing Drawbridge, Ginger Brute, <laughs> Witch's Cottage, Merrileaf Rider, Enchanted Carriage, First Uncommon, Covetous Urge, Slaying Fire, and a rare Wicked Wolf. Yes, please. Card is super, super standard playable right now. I'm playing that in standard, and it is a very, very strong card. Super duper good, and I love it. Very, very happy to see that every time. Queen of Ice, Crystal Slipper, Silver Flame, Carver, Festive Funeral, Scarecrow, Red Cap Raiders, Secret Keeper, Out Muscle, We've got a Skull Knocker Ogre, Come in Your Swamp, Merit Leaf, Pixie, Beanstalk Giant, and a rare Bone Crusher Giant. We got that Beanstalker Giant coming in, and that Bone Crusher Giant coming in hard. Heck yes, on the slide for a reason. Bone Crusher Giant is a fantastic magic card and great for pretty much every red deck in the format right now. Trap in the Tower, Fling, Scalding, Monitor, Paladin, Claim the Firstborn, Archon of, the, of Absolution, Lock Dragon, and a rare... Feasting Troll King, om nom nom, with the Garenbrig Carver foil. Excellent, very nice. We got two more booster packs here on this regular booster box. And then we got one more collector's booster right here. I can't wait. I'm super hyped. We got to get through these last two packs first before we can hit that one, though. So let's get to it. Get through it. Trap of Tower, Grange. Once in Future, First Uncommon, Sir Kara the Bold, Tireless Snacker, and a rare Fires of Invention. Very, very nice with a Joust foil. Very pretty. Great cards for the red lot winner. One more, one more. Let's go. Opt. Thrill Possibility. Bartered Cow. Rosorn Halbred. Boating Fruit. Crashing Jawbridge. Ginger Brute, Lockwain Paladin, Witch's Cottage, Marleaf Rider, First Uncommon, Wintermoor Commander, Sorcerer's Broom, Righteousness, and a rare Escape to the Wilds to close us out. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's go. We got one more, one more. Let's go. One Collector's Booster coming your way, coming in hot. Whoop. We've got Foil Fairy Guide Mother, Foreboding Fruit, Unexplained Vision, Ember, uh, Embereth Paladin, Garen Brig Squire, Lonesome Unicorn. Look at how pretty that artwork is. If you haven't seen that art close up, you need to look it up. It is gorgeous. Order of Midnight, Clockwork Servant, Rampart Smasher. We've got Reaper of Night. Arden Vale Tactician, Rose Thorn Acolyte, and 
our ancillary card is Steel Bane Hydra. Very nice. Some turtle hydras for you. Our extended art regular is... Oh, wow. Nice. It is a mythic. Prankle, Master of Prankles. Heck yes. Congrats to that black winner. Very, very nice. Very nice. And we've got one more foil rare. Let's see it. Let's see it. Outlaw's Merriment. There it is. With a fairy token. Heck yes. Fairy. Fairy and some food. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But look at that. Rankle to close out this lot here. So, so good. We're going to go right ahead. We're going to get the sleeve on that one. We're going to get the sleeve for that. Outlaw's Merriment. So good. Very awesome. Excellent, 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 excellent cards. So, with that, let's go on ahead. Bring on right back to me. All right, everybody. That was our first box. We still got four more to go. Can you believe that? Uh, we're going to skip any of the comments for these next couple, but we're going to have a good dang old time. So, I'm Kendra Smith again here at the Magical Mystery Auction at CoolStuffInc.com. We're going to take a quick short break here just to clean up and get ready for that next box. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. So, hang tight. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you shortly. Foil a Johnny the Great Hearted, okay. That happens. Oh, and then we got a foil of Whoa. the fairy! See? Oh, oh my God. another <laughs> Teferi! Get out of here! Holy crap, that is a one-two punch, everybody. That's the one and that's the two. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're here to do this. Ooh, there it is, what did I tell you? Finale of Devastation. We get in the sleeve on that one, y'all. That is a foil mythic finale of glory. Whoa. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, yeah! Woo woo! Card! Oh, <laughs> sick. Wow. And that's a foil Nissa who shakes the world. What? Ilhard the Razebore, yes, please. Oh! oh there it is! We did it, I fam. knew it! That's Gideon freaking Blackblade. Yes, it is. I got an opening hand right here of awesome. Ooh, a Liliana! Oh. Ooh, and it's a Liliana, boys. Did we get there or did we get there? Ooh, and it's Liliana, boys. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Is it Liliana? Oh, it's Liliana. Look at that lady. She's been waiting to find us. Ooh. We got a foil anime Vivian. Karn. That's a nice looking Karn too. Oh, and that is a foil Narset. Alt art, people. <laughs> Narset. Ooh, and we got ourselves a Nicobolus. Look at that Nicobolus. Foil Narset. Foil Vivian. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Oh my God, it's the alternate art Tamio. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, alternate artwork to Fairy. Wow. <laughs> so not only did they find the alternate artwork. Nickel Bolas Dragon God. They also get the alternate artwork Karn. And a, a Altar Nissa as our first pack. Woo! And then we got the Altar Domri. Very nice. Woo! We got that foil Alt Art Nahiri. She is beautiful. She's looking great. We're putting that in a sleeve. And then we got an Alt Art Ugin as well in the same pack. Woo! Oh, foil, alt art, Raoul. That is a foil. Oh, ah! And then we got the Liliana. It's okay. We're just gonna take a few minutes and look at her because <laughs> we haven't seen her in a couple days. In a <laughs> all the alt arts, Nicobolus, Japanese Nicobolus.
Japanese Nicobolus. Starting the game off strong, boys. You got there. You did it. You did it. Mox Tantalite in a foil, boys. We got there. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil Force of Negation. That's a foil giver of runes. Yes, it is. Yagma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. The flavor is strong. <laughs> there it is! Look at that artwork. Look how dope that is. Oh my god. Oil Fire Islet. Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands. Same pack. Thank you. We got there. Mox Tanzelite Foil. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> this is what I wanted. I want this in my deck. So bad, so busted. We got the Ren and Six. We got the Hex Trigger. We got Sarah. Like all of those. We've been waiting. Unbelievable. Ooh, starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? I love it! I love it! Foil Force of Negation! Jace, the Mind Sculptor! Yes, please! Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> Yagma, there he is! The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. Mox Tantalite Foil! <laughs> Busted! <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Foil Fiery Islet! Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands! Same pack! Oh my god, let's just see what rares behind this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't! I can't! That is a foil! Oh! Ah! And we got the Liliana! We got her! Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Magical Mystery Auction, CoolStuffInc.com. I'm your host, Kendra Smith, a.k.a. The Maverick Girl. I'm here. We're here. We're opening, busting up some uh, Throne of Eldraine packs. Not just, not, we're not just doing the box. No, no. We're adding a collector's pack to every box, too. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We, we actually just opened something pretty sweet out of our... Uh, Collector's pack. This last box, we open a Rankle Master of Rankles as our extended frame. Uh, rare. That's a pretty good rare. It's like I think like thirty bucks or something like that. Yes, it is. It's pretty awesome. So we're gonna dive right in, and we're gonna check out these slides here. Let's see what we got going on. We've got our. We're gonna first do start it off with the gold cards, the colorless cards, lands, all of that, what have you. And then we're going to go Wooberg. We're going to go white cards, blue cards, black cards, red cards, and the green cards. So, why don't we just dive right in? I think we've got enough people here. We've got a lot of people hanging out wanting to bid on some cards. So let's, let's just d jump right in. Nose dive straight into this box. Into these lots. Into this auction. Kicking it off with some gold cards, some colorless cards, some lands, and maybe some tokens. We've got some planeswalkers. Fabled Passage, we got Castles, Faber Elder, it's like the second coming of Bloom Tender right there. Stone Coil Serpent, yes please, let's go. I'm excited, I'm hyped. We saw um, Alt Art Royal Scions yesterday, we saw a couple o Okos, we've seen a couple Garricks, heck we just saw a Garrick in our last box. We saw tons and tons of Castles, we saw a couple Fabled Passages yesterday, 
So many good cards. One more, one on top of the other. The hits just keep coming, I'm telling you. And we got other ones, too. We got Doom Force Holden here. That's a deck in and of itself right now. So, there's just tons and tons of cards. You get tokens. You get some basic lands. Have you seen these basic lands in the set? They are gorgeous. Yesterday, we opened a foil uh, basic planes, and it was gorgeous. The card was amazing. And I would love to see another one of those. It, very, it felt very reminiscent of uh, the Shire from like Lord of the Rings. Just gorgeous artwork. Beautiful foiling. I can't wait to see what we open out of this box and this collector's pack in particular. There's gonna got to be some beautiful, beautiful cards showing up in, in here. And especially, like I would love to see one of these alt art Okos popping out of one of these packs here. I don't know about all of you guys. Get your bids in. Exclamation mark, bid, space, and a whole number. One whole number of some variety or another. Remember, we can ship out to anywhere in the world as well. $5 to the continental U.S., $15 to the rest of the world. We ship these cards out on Monday, Tuesday. We're going to have a great, great old time getting, getting them out to you. I can't wait. So, let's see what we got going on up. Oh, got Tariq here so far $65 high bid <laughs> I can't wait to see what we get, see if uh, we can get there uh Tata K and uh very exciting but it looks like it's starting to come to a wind down come to a close multicolors are multicolors colorless lands and it goes to Tariq B75 you know the drill. Contact CSI underscore auction help. They will get you set up and hooked up as we proceed on to our next auction. White cards. We've got Realm Cloak Giant, Circle of Loyalty, Charming Prince, Hushbringer. Heck yeah, so many great cards. All possible to be open out of these packs, out of this box. I can't wait. Let's see what we hit. Circle of Loyalty, yes please. Uh, showcase Realm Cloak Giant. It's like ten fifteen for a regular one, but then you get to that foil one. It's like fifty dollars, and we saw one yesterday. Yes, we did. And the person who won that uh, lot got it for like I don't know twenty bucks, twenty five dollars, something like that. Beautiful win, beautiful, beautiful. Love to see it. You love to see it. Excellent. And we have a winner, Chad Mart ten seventy six. The winning bid. $22. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. And they'll get you set up with your payment. And then let's move it on to these blue cards. Oh boy, everybody. We got those blue cards. Get those bids in. Exclamation mark bid space whole number. It is about time, everybody. It's high time that we see a brazen borrower. We have not seen one. We've opened six booster boxes now so far. Across the last two days, and we have not seen a single brazen borrower, no regulars, no alt frames, nothing. It's time, it's time. We're gonna see one in this box. I'm feeling it, I'm very much feeling it. Right here, we got Emery, too. We saw an Emery in this last box, we saw Magic Mirror last box, Mirror Made, even. We saw all of these cards basically. Value is real, it's here. We even saw two more showcase non-foil hypnotic sprites on the last pack or on this last box we've seen like seven of that card across the last two days it is just unreal how much we've been seeing that card the card is worth like two or three dollars on its own it's a very playable standard card it's great for cube probably pretty close for modern definitely a great card worth having you'll love to see it so let's let's go let's go let's go let's go I would kill to see that showcase brazen borrower here. It's time. It is time for us to get there. So, remember if we see any foils, see if we see a foil emery. Cool. I would love to see a foil emery. I'll probably try and get somebody to trade me that too. <laughs> um, we got Fave Wishes, Magic Mirror. We got so many great cards. And it looks like our winner, Mew Hunter 67, the winning bid, $36. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. And uh, we'll get you set up with that payment. So, let's go on to these black cards. Oh boy, we got some great ones here. 
Oh boy, I'm ready to hit another Murderous Rider. So many good cards. So many great ones. And, whoa. Rankle? We saw a Rankle last box. We saw an alt frame, extended art, Rankle, Master of Prankles. And you know what? That card is basically was basically worth the win, uh, uh, the whole auction in the last one on its own. It's not to count, you know, not to say anything about that Wishclaw Talisman that we saw as well, then, all right? So, so many good cards, and you can still see this Murderous Rider. Regular art is still, like, you know, a good chunk of change, but that, mmm, that showcase one? What thing is something else. Uh, Cauldron of Eternity, great mythic. It's going to be played in EDH, Commander, forever. Probably pretty good for some cubes, too. I'd love to see some people go uh, buried alive into Cauldron of Eternity. That seems like a pretty, pretty good strategy there. Ayara is pretty great too. See some standard play. Pretty good for certain uh, aristocrat style decks, and especially with like someone like Judith right now. Yeah, I think there's definitely, I think there's definitely a deck somewhere in that mix too. So let's see what we got going on here. Remember, get if you want to get in on this, it's exclamation mark bid space whole number. See foils, you get them. See extended arts, they're yours. Showcase, yeah, they're, those are yours too. Tadake, coming in here hot. That $30 bid. Get in here. You're ready. I know you're ready. You want to see those black cards. I do too. Hit up CSI underscore auction help. And they'll get you hooked up. We got two more to go. So let's dive in. We got these red cards. There they are. We've got that Robber of the Rich. We've got the Amber Cleave. The Bone Crusher Giant. The Fervent Champion. The Tobron. Thane of Redfall. With that absolutely majestic beard and my axe and uh not pictured on this but absolutely should be is the fantastic fires of invention card all of these cards make up for a great suite of red cards and we saw a lot of these cards in the last box we saw a robber of the rich we saw a bone crusher giant pretty sure we saw fires of invention too well well worth it and i think we're gonna see Plenty of awesome goodies in this box as well. So, I'm very excited. And there it is. Aaron is awesome one. The winning bid of $23. You know the drill. Contact CSI underscore auction help. And they'll get you set up. And now, now we got this last one. The green cards. With the questing beast. The once upon a time. The great henge. The honking gilded goose. Honk. <laughs> um, so many great cards. Big, big cards. Big hitters. Big heavy hitters. Quest Have you been hit by a Questing Beast yet in, like, Standard or anything? Card is unreal. Great Henge is such a powerhouse card. Once upon a time, it's being played in Vintage, for crying out loud. And that Gilded Goose, well, <laughs> there's so many good things that we could say about that Gilded Goose. The card is fantastic. Either it's like a little mana dork, or it makes some food tokens, which you can use for quite a lot of, quite a number of uh, uses for those tokens in the standard format. I'm excited. I can't wait. Let's get a, a nice little explain command in there, if we would please, for Vanessa. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how these uh, green cards pop in and open up. So many good cards in this mix. We've got uh, exclamation mark bid space and a put a whole number in. You can jump in and get in here on your own. We'll see some sweet cards open up and I can't wait. And there it is. Green wins with a $37 winning bid. You know the drill, Tariq. Contact CSI underscore auction help and they'll get you set up with your payment. Oh, let's bring that on back to me here and let's get it on ready. Excellent, guys. I am Kendra Smith, your host for the Magical Mystery Auction. And we are very, very excited to open some Throne of Eldraine booster packs and collector's pack. Happy release day, everybody. Who's excited for this set? I, I, I love Throne of Eldraine so far. It's a powerhouse set with amazing flavor. Unless you're Evan Irwin. <laughs> and then, uh, so, you know what, though? I think we need to get you all in on 
the Throne of Eldraine as well for those who maybe aren't buying these cards. So you know what? Let's fire up another giveaway. Rich, I think, we, I think we're due. Another $25. Type in exclamation mark enter. And get yourself in here. <laughs> yeah, Evan, shake that cane. We'll bust out another red zone here. I will happily join Ruben on that red zone. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So type in exclamation mark enter. Get yourself in on this giveaway. Free $25 gift certificate to CoolStuffInc.com. I'm hype. I can't wait. So exciting. And, uh... How are we looking so far? I know we uh, maybe have a little bit of time here. Let's see. We, we are at? still waiting on two. Two more to go. There it is. Very exciting. I can't wait. What are you all excited for in the set? What do you, what do you want to see? What do, you know? Maybe if, even if you didn't win any lots, didn't try an auction, what do you want to see out open up here? It's all about fun times, opening cards, <coughs> seeing what we get. I can't wait. We've got excellent cards for, you know, you can get some sweet stuff going on in Arena. We've got some Magic Online tournaments. I know there's a big old SEG Open coming up this weekend. So we've got some uh, PTQs coming up in standard season. Who's playing some PTQs? I'm ready. I'm hype. Oh. Kendra, we are good to go. Oh, there it is. We're set. We're set. We're ready to go. So I think, I think it's time we pick our winner. Let's go. Let's see who we get says. Give it closed. Picking some winners. Let's go. Let's see who it is. Wow. Rigged. Red Doyle wins again. <laughs> wow. Unreal. Congratulations. Get in touch with CoolStuffInc.com or CoolStuffInc. Uh, CSI underscore auction help rather. They'll get you set up. Unreal. Double winner here. What a master. All right. With that, let's go bring it down to the hand cam and jump on in here. Crack a lacquer. Rippy, rippy. Tear open this. Ready? Absolute savage here. But that's how we do things. <laughs> All right, all right. We're gonna dive right on in here. Remember, we are skipping commons from here on out. Not so much point unless you wanna see uh, all the mystic sanctuaries open that absolutely busted common. It's gonna, it's a mistake, Make, mark my words. We got Clockwork Servant, first on common. Rally for the Throne, Improbable Alliance, and a Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig, to start us off with a foil. Weapon Rack, doing its best serrated arrows impression. <coughs> excellent, excellent. All right, let's keep keep it going. We got Embereth Shieldbreaker, Mystical Dispute, Sir Farron the Hengebringer or Hengehammer, and a rare Worthy Knight. There it is. Very nice. I like reverse serrated arrows, but you know what? I just wish the ability wasn't a sorcery. Because that makes it so much worse, unfortunately. It's so close, though. I wish it was just good enough. Alright, we got Skullknocker Ogre. Wander Mare. Cauldron's Gift. And a rare Happily Ever After. Very nice. With a Plains. Excellent. Alrighty. I want to see some brazen borrowers popping up. That's what I really want to see. Show me them. Sorcerer's Broom. Ferocity of the Wild. Rampart Smasher. And a rare Oathsworn Knight. None shall pass. None shall pass. We're going to slip on by here and go. Lucky Clover, Red Cat Melee, Kenra's Transformation, and a rare Doom Foretold. Yes, please. We'll take it. 
Let's go. <clears throat> excellent, excellent. All right, let's skip some commons. We got Spectre Streak, Covetous Urge, Sage of the Falls, and a rare Escape to the Wilds. Very nice, very nice. Giant light up the stage seems pretty good to me. <clears throat> We've got ooh, Showcase Animating Fairy, <clears throat> Revenge of Ravens, Trail of Crumbs, and ooh, it's a mythic. It's a 4 4. You know what that means. It's a questing beast. Yes, please. We'll take that. Congratulations to the green winner. We're getting some sleeve action on that one. Yes, please. We're doing it. Put the sleeve cards right over here. Nice and visible. You'll love to see it. You love, love to see it. All right. Enchanted Carriage. Arcanist Owl. Bell of the Brawl and a rare Stone Coil Serpent. Very nice on the slide for a reason. Card is amazing. Very playable and has so many applications in so many different formats. I can't wait to see it get some serious action. We got Elite Headhunter, Mad Rata, Inspiring Veteran, Feasting Troll King. Here to Om Nom some Nom Noms. Wildwood Tracker Foil as well. You know, Stone Coil is great. I love it. <clears throat> Careful out there, Tariq. Excellent, excellent, excellent. <clears throat> We've got a Deafening Silence. Turn to a Pumpkin. Mysterious Pathlighter and a rare Fervent Champion. Look at that. Javier Dominguez. Heck yes, we'll take him. He can show up in these packs every day, as far as I'm concerned. All right. We've got an Inquisitive Puppet. First uncommon here. All that glitters is gold. Lock Dragon and a rare Sorcerer Spyglass. Very awesome reprint with a foil rare Stone Coil Serpent. Yes, please. We'll sleeve that right on up. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Card is great. Fantastic foil right there. <clears throat> That's what we get when we start talking about how awesome these cards are. All right, we got a winner more commander. Hypnotic Sprite, no showcase this time around. Sir Alan the Lion's Claw. And oh, oh, you see that? That's a Planeswalker. That's the Royal Scions. Heck yes. Elite Headhunter Foil. Who cares about you? We're getting the sleeve. That's what we're doing. We're getting the sleeve on these Royal Scions right here. Yes, we are. Look at that. <coughs> Big hits, no whammies. Let's go. We're only a third of the way through this box, too, already. We still got plenty more to go. So we got Revenge of Ravens. Spinning Wheel. Okay, adversary and a clock back troll. Card is super strong and limited, and I only I definitely expect it to show up in standard. We saw uh, uh, Desecration Demon get played after all. I think uh, this card is the second coming of that one, bad boy. So we got a giant opportunity. Okay, Ranger, Tireless Snacker, and a Charming Prince. Yes, please on the slide. For a reason. Heck yeah. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. What you get? What you get? What you get? Get. All right. Oh. <laughs> Another animating fairy. We're seeing the duplicates, just a different fairy this time around. Sir Eleanor of the Discerning. Archon of Absolution. And a. Ooh, that's a mythic. What do we got? What do we got? Dirk! Cursed Huntsman! <clears throat> Heck yes, we're going to get the sleeve. We're going to get the sleeve. So many walkers. Two walkers already. How about that? <clears throat> that multicolor slot. Oh man, running hot. Hotter than the sun so far. Glass casket. Righteousness. 
Bell of the Brawl, and a rare Dance of the Mance. Yes, please. Right for that Doom Foretold deck. You'll love to see it. And reanimate and animate some artifacts all day, every day. I'm in for it. We got an Inquisitive Puppet, Elite Headhunter, Burning Yard Trainer, and a rare Vantress Gargoyle. There it is. Very nice. Tanake, don't forget, we actually saw Royal Scions in our very first box, I believe. So we definitely saw one pretty early on here. I think, at least. I don't remember. All right. Keeper of Fables. Spectre Shriek. Grum Gully. Doesn't matter what it is. Take it and be grateful. And we got a Rankle. Wow. Wow, we're running hot on these Mythics. So good, so good, so good. Look at that. Tadake, yeah. <clears throat> so good, so good. Yeah, this box is pretty good. This is pretty solid. We still got plenty of opportunities to go for some more bustedness, if you ask me. Deathless Knight, Witch's Oven, Red Cap Melee, and a rare Sundering Stroke for the red. Heck yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. About halfway through the box. All right, we got Covetous Urge. Whoa! Order of Midnight Showcase. That thing is beautiful. Look at that gorgeous Seb McKinnon artwork. Love it, love it. Venerable Knight and a rare Piper of the Swarm. Heck yes, we'll take that. With a foil Witch's Cottage. That's a really nice foil. Witch's Cottage and... Uh, Mystic Sanctuary foils are probably like the best of the land, so the foils are probably pretty good there, if you ask me. Alright, we've got Tournament Grounds, Bognaughty, Into the Story, and a rare Gadwick the Wizened. With some foresty action going on there. You love it, you love it, you love it. All right, we got a Shambling Suit, Joust, Edge Wall Innkeeper, and a rare Wish Claw Talisman. Black doing awesome on this lot this time around. We just need to see a Murderous Rider now, am I right? I still want to see a Brazen Borrower, though. What's the deal? Six boxes. No Brazen Borrowers. We need to fix that right now. Right now. Resolute Rider. Flaxen Intruder, Thunderous Snapper, and Storm Fist Crusader. That's not fixing it. You know what? We'll take a foil order of Midnight. It's not a showcase, but this is still one heck of a gorgeous card right here. And I'm sure Tadake there, I'm sure you'll take that. Am I right? Am I right? Let's go. Let's see it. Foulmire Knight. Mystical Dispute. Fairy Vandal, and a rare Sorcerer's Spyglass. Very nice, very nice. With, ooh, that gorgeous planes. Yes, please. We'll take that. <laughs> Exergen. Uh, we're I'm not bidding currently. We did our bids already for this box. We're going to do some more after this box. But right now, we got to open those packs first see what we got. Steel Claw Lance. Shambling Suit. All that glitters and a rare return of the wild speaker to go along with that Garrick. <coughs> yes, please. We'll take that. You know, green's not doing too bad either. We got that questing beast action. You love to see it. Ooh. Shepherd of the Flock showcase. Very, very nice. Hypnotic Sprite. Sir Eleanor of the Discerning. And a rare. Oh, nice. Showcase Lovestruck Beast. Heck yes. What? Oh my gosh. What? What? Foil once upon a time? Yes. We're taking that. We're sleeping it. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Ah, this is so good. So many sleeves already. Two foil rares that were both super great. 
bunch of great mythics. Fantastic showcase cards. This box is amazing. This box has it all. Oh my gosh. Giant Opportunity. Cauldron's Gift. Improbable Alliance. And a rare Castle Locked Wayne. Very nice. I'm running this high right now. This box is unreal. And then we just need to... I, I just still need to see that Brazen Borrower, though. Come on. Merrileaf Pixie. Sir Farron. Burning Yard Trainer. And a rare Castle in Breath. Yes, yes, yes. Castles are so good. Every single one of them. I love them. You love them. Fantastic cards. Glass Casket. Shine Chaser, Kenra's Transformation, and Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Yes, please, we'll take those. Such good rares. Excellent, excellent. We got Sir Kara the Bold, Fireborn Knight, Witch's Oven, and a rare Hushbringer. Can you imagine, like, being in the library? And this comes up to you and tries to tell you to shush and be quiet. You're going you're, you're gonna to shut up pretty quick. All right. Once in future. Trail of Crumbs. Sir Conrad the Grim. With a wild born preserver. Yes, please. Woo. Green killing it. Gold killing it. Black's killing it. Box is just fire. Evan, where's that everything is fire? Emote. We need that right now. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Bog Naughty. Into the story. With a... You see that, everybody? That's an M right there. That's a mythic. This is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Looks really pretty. It is. Realm Cloaks Giant. That's right. That's another mythic. We're at five mythics so far, if, my, if I'm counting correctly. So good. And I think we got foil here, too. Foil, thrill of possibility. This card is super playable. What is going on in this box? Oh, we still got four more packs to go, including this one. Okay, Ranger. Yes. Showcase. Mad Ratter. Inspiring Veteran. And a rare... Once upon a time, yes, 100%. Well, oh, wow, and we got a fairy guide mother foil, too. Oh, we're going to just leave up both of these. Two good, ah, what's going on? What's going on? Box is unreal. Like, look at this. Once upon a time and a foil once upon a time in one box. In one box. Oh, wow. And, all right, we got an enchanting carriage, okay, my adversary, thunder snapper, and a rare, another stone coil serpent. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's just keep going. Fire it up. Let's go. All right. We've got Acclaim the Firstborn, Epic Downfall, Lock Dragon, and a rare... Giant killer. Very, yes. And a, all that glitters. Foil. Very fitting. We got one last pack before this collector's booster. So let's see what we get. Please, come on. Let's see a brazen borrower. I don't want to go seven, pa seven boxes with no brazen borrowers. That's just ridiculous. Deafening Silence. Winter More Commander. Archon of Absolution. And a rare Ayara. First of Lock Wayne. I think there's a foil here too. It's a wolf's quarry. Little piggies, little piggies. We're <coughs> gonna see this collector's pack and <coughs> if these uh if this box so far has been any indication, this is gonna be hot fire. And I mean we we got a lonesome unicorn right off the bat. It's like the next it's like the cousin of the good fortune unicorn, and this art is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, I'll tell you. Locked Wayne Paladin, Silver Flame Squire, 
Vantress Paladin, Jousting Dummy, Rose Thorn Halberd, Red Cap Melee, Righteousness, Sir Eleonora the Discerning, Animating Fairy number three for this box, Order of Midnight, there you go, Tadake, get another one right there. Rim Rock Knight, very nice, with a show or a uh, ancillary card, Garrison Griffin. All right, all right, we got an extended frame card. Let's see it, let's see it. Iron Crag Feet, heck yes, card is playable with, whoa, look at that, Torbran, extended art, foil. Yeah, we're taking that. We're taking that. We're sleeving it right up. Ha! <laughs> ha! Everything got there. Everything got there. Blue? Blue needs that Brazen Borrower. But you know what? Even Blue did great in this. Everyone did amazing. This is such a wild box. Let's let's bring this on back. Let's bring this on back. Let's bring this on back. I, I just... I just... Wow. This, this box was unreal. Unreal. This is what we're here for, everybody. This, a box, boxes like this. Once upon a time, foil. Once upon a time, foil. Extended art. Torbran. The card's a nice little pretty penny. A rankle. A Garrick. A royal science. Couple. Stone coil serpent. There were three of these. One of them is foil. This box was unreal. So you know what? Just hang tight. We've got three more of these boxes still to go. And yesterday's were all fire too. So you know what? I think uh, I think we're in for some good, great times here. So hang tight, everybody. I'm Kendra Smith. Cool stuff, Inc. Magical Mystery Auction. We'll be back in five. Foil a Johnny the Great Hearted. Okay. That happens. Oh, and then we got a foil of Whoa. the fairy. Gee. Oh, oh my God. another <laughs> Teferi. Get out of here. Holy crap. That is a one-two punch, everybody. That's the one and that's the two. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're here to do this. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. There it is. What did I tell you? Finale of Devastation. We get in the sleeve on that one, y'all. That is a foil mythic finale of glory. Whoa. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, yeah! Woo woo! Card! Oh, <laughs> sick. Wow. And that's a foil Nissa who shakes the world. What? Ilhar the Razebore. Yes, please. Oh! oh there it is! We did it, I fam. knew it! That's Gideon freaking Blackblade. Yes, it is. I got an opening hand right here of awesome. Ooh, a Liliana! Oh. Ooh, and it's a Liliana, boys. Did we get there or did we get there? Ooh, and it's Liliana, boys. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Is it Liliana? Oh, it's Liliana. Look at that lady. She's been waiting to find us. Ooh. We got a foil anime Vivian. Karn. That's a nice looking Karn too. Oh, and that is a foil Narset. Alt art, people. <laughs> Narset. Ooh, and we got ourselves a Nicobolus. Look at that Nicobolus. Foil Narset. Foil Vivian. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Oh my God, it's the alternate art Tamio. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, alternate artwork to Fairy. Wow. <laughs> so not only did they find the alternate artwork. Nickel Bolas Dragon God. They also get the alternate artwork Karn. And a, a Altar Nissa as our first pack. Woo! And then we got the Altar Domri. Very nice. Woo! We got that foil Alt Art Nahiri. She is beautiful. 
She's looking great. We're putting that in a sleeve. And then we got an alt art Ugin as well in the same pack. Oh, oh foil. Alt art Rowl. That is a foil. Oh, ah! And then we got the Liliana. It's okay. We're just going to take a few minutes and look at her because <laughs> we haven't seen her in a couple days. In a. <laughs> All the alt arts. Nicobolas, Japanese Nicobolas. Japanese Nicobolas. Starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. Mox Tantalite in a foil, boys. We got there. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil Force of Negation. That's a foil giver of runes. Yes, it is. Yagma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. The flavor is strong. <laughs> there it is! Look at that artwork. Look how dope that is. Oh my god. Oil Fire Islet. Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands. Same pack. Thank you. We got there. Mox Tanzelite Foil. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> this is what I wanted. I want this in my deck. So bad, so busted. We got the Ren and Six. We got the Hex Trigger. We got Sarah. Like all of those. We've been waiting. Unbelievable. Ooh, starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it! I love it! Foil Force of Negation! Jace, the Mind Sculptor! Yes, please! <laughs> Yagma, there he is! The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. Mox Tantalite Foil! <laughs> Busted. <laughs> <laughs> There it is! Oil Fiery Islet! Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands! Same pack! Oh my god, let's just see what rares behind this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't! I can't! That is a foil! Oh! Ah! And then we got the Liliana! We got her! Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Magical Mystery Auction. I'm your host, Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl, here at lovely Cool Stuff Inc. headquarters here in Maitland, Orlando, Florida. And we are excited to show all kinds of packs, auction off a bunch of great new cards from the awesome set Throne of Eldrain with packs like these, collector's boosters, and this is a whole box. We're doing a whole box, and we're doing a collector's box or a collector's pack. We're sticking them together and auctioning them off by lots. So we've done two so far. First one, we had some great ones. We had a nice Rankle as our extended art card in our collector's booster. But you know what was really hot fire? It was that second box? We had uh, Once Upon a Time and a Foil Once Upon a Time. A questing beast. We had two planeswalkers. We had a foil Torbron extended art. 
We had black cards out the wazoo. We, I think we hit a rankle, a couple showcase, order of midnight, so much good stuff. So let's hear, see what we got going on on these slides. First, we're going to start off with the gold cards, colorless cards, lands, all that, tokens, what have you. Then we're going to dive into the white cards, the blue cards, black cards, red cards, and green cards in that order. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with these gold cards, colorless cards, lands, and more. We'll get those bids started here. Exclamation mark, bid, space, whole number gets you in here and we get you going. Last box was amazing. We hit a Royal Scions, Garrick. We hit multiple castles. We hit three Stone Coil Serpents. One of them was foil. So much value was had in that box. Ridiculous, and I can't wait to see even more here in this time around. So much good stuff. Maybe we'll see some Fabled Passages? I bet we're going to see an Oko. I got a good feeling about that. So Fabro Elders, yes please, very much so. You know, we got those Doom Foretolds, we got all kinds of great stuff, Dance in the Mance, very much a great standard deck right now. So, there's certainly tons of great cards we can see that we can hit here. You see Inoko, you're definitely making your money back. You see Garrick, you're making, you're doing pretty good. Royal Science, same deal. If we see any of these alt frames, any of them, you're looking at easily... $40 in value, probably like at minimum. We see that Oko, that's like 50, 60 bucks right there. Ridiculous, I love it. Can't wait to see it. I'm, 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 I'm dying, I've got these, this box and this pack right in front of me and like I'm just itching to, you know, crack a locker at this bad boy. And I'll go rip, full rippy rippy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, I want to see a, f you know what I really want to see? I really want to see a foil, fabled passage. That would be nuts. I love it. When do the cards get shipped out? Cards get shipped out either Monday or Tuesday. And it uh, depends just mostly on our schedule really and how quickly we're able to get them out. But we're going to definitely try and get them out as quickly as we can either on Monday or on Tuesday. So... We're at $65 so far. 66 from Greylord. Heck yes, let's see it. Let's keep it going. Remember everybody, I will remind everyone. These boxes, they're all from that same little case there. So you know what? We could very we haven't seen any Okos yet. We haven't seen any brazen borrowers yet. You know, that's a, well, that's that's a couple ones down. But you know, we we we've still got some pretty strong value that we could see out of these boxes. We have not seen any of the alt frames yet. Uh, the walkers that is it's usually about one per case so we're gonna see some pretty good value somewhere here I can tell you that I can promise you right now and there it is Kinzoko with the $67 winning bid please contact CSI underscore auction health and they'll get you set up uh, before we get started here on this next one MDG critic I would like to remind you I've seen you uh, seen with a couple times here as well as everybody else you must type exclamation mark bid space you need a space there and the whole number and that's how you get yourself in on these auctions so let's move on now to these white cards yes sir we've got some great ones here we've got realm cloak giant charming prince hushbringer circle of loyalty harmonious archon we saw so many of these great cards last time around and i think we could see even more this time around maybe we could see that showcase realm cloak giant maybe some uh, circle of loyalty action. I believe I'm a believer. I'm hyped, just, hyped as heck to see what kind of goodness we get. And don't forget, it's not all just in these either. What about that? Like those, each of the last two collectors packs, we saw a foil, lonesome unicorn showcase card, and that art is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's great for like your popper cubes if you have a knight stack. Very good. Very great. The value is here. It's not all just on the cards that are on your screen right now. It's in all over the place in these packs and these boxes. And there's definitely plenty of opportunities for you to get your value out of it. So, here we go. So far, we're at $20 from C. Conlin. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we get. 
MG credit. No, we are opening booster. What we're doing is we're auctioning in the lots. Any white cards we see in this in the uh, box that we open, they're yours. Any blue cards, they're yours. White, uh, green cards, red cards, they're yours if you win those lots. So it is, it is a bit random, but you know what? So sometimes you come out with a little bit less than you get. Sometimes you come out with a heaping load more. We had about twenty-five dollars yesterday for a white auction and the winning the winner of that auction walked away with about 60 plus dollars uh worth of cards easy one box so there it is we got mu 167 with a winning bid 21 dollars you know the drill contact csi underscore auction help and they will get you hooked up so let's see what we got on this next one blue cards gosh Dang it, if we don't see a Brazen Borrower in this box, I'm going to lose my mind. We're seven boxes deep so far between yesterday and today. We have not seen a single Brazen Borrower at all. I think it's time. I think we're due. We're overdue. Very overdue, if you ask me. And, you know, maybe they can just throw us a bone. And maybe we can actually get the uh, that pretty gorgeous showcase card instead of the uh, the regular iffy looking one now they both look fine they're both good money and uh you know we got emery here we got magic mirror mirror made fae of wishes i mean heck mirror made that card's gonna be fantastic for uh edh forever it's always gonna be worth something i love it so uh fae of wishes fantastic so much good cards i can't wait i'm hype red Dole coming in hot mg critic getting in there Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Exclamation mark, bid, space, whole number. That's how you get in here. Make it. I'm hype. So excited. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's see. We're going to see it. Remember, everybody, we do ship to anywhere in the world. We see $5 shipping to the continental U.S. and then $15 to the entire rest of the world. There it is, Red Doyle. Get in here. Get in here. You know the drill. It is time. It is time. It is time. I really want to... I'm, the one I'm dying to see, personally, I'm dying to see that Emery Lurker of the Lock foil. That's what I want to see. Foil extended art, please. Yes. I think the card is like $70 or something. Let's see it. I can't wait. I want to see. There it is. Red Doyle winning bid. $37. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. You know the drill. Now we move on to the black cards. And uh, black's been running hot these last couple of days. Pretty good uh, pretty good hits. Like across the board. We're seeing the Rankles. We're seeing the Murderous Riders. We're seeing the Wishclaw Talismans. We're seeing the Cauldron of Eternities. We're seeing Showcase... Um, Order of Midnights. We're seeing regular Order of Midnights. The card is fantastic. The, um, uh, I can't even remember this card's name. It's the, uh, the zombie that has Death Touch, or you can go on an adventure with it and, uh, draw a card and lose a life. There's just so many good cards in black right now for standard that it's well worth it, and we're gonna see tons of great cards, I promise you. So there it is. Looks like Greylord wins. Greylord72 is our winner with $32 bid. Please contact CSI underscore auction help and they'll get you hooked up processing some payment. We got two more to go still. Let's see these red cards. Let's see them. Have a look. Oh boy. And we saw so many great cards here. This last box, we saw a Urban Champion. We saw a Torah Brand uh, extended art foil. It was a little rough in this last box, I'm not going to lie, for Red. But you know what? We made up for it at the end with that tour brand. Like, whatever it was, like $20 or some, something close to that for that last one. And paid off in spades for that, with that. Just that one tour brand. I'm telling you. And that's where that's what the amazing thing about this. The value can come from just all over the place, everywhere. I'm hype. I'm excited. Aaron is awesome. So you're asking, we are doing this one box right here, right now, and then we're doing two more immediately after this. After breaks, of course. So, I'm excited. Who's excited? I'm hype. I cannot wait to see what we get out of these boxes. Current eye bearer so far. Snorlax, 9001. Let's see. Can we see it? Oh, no. Mew Hunter's coming in hot. 
No over 9,000 this time around, I'll tell you that much. If you want to get yourself in there, exclamation mark bid, space, whole number. You have to go exclamation mark bid, space, $26 if you want to beat Mew Hunter 67 right now, though. Can we see it? Will we get there? Five seconds. Oh, there it is. Snorlax coming in hot. Wants to get over 9,000. Max power level. What? 9,000? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I want to see these bags. Oh, there it is. There's the scoop. So it's going to probably, it looks like, go to Snorlax 9001. Go and take your over 9,000. No, I'm just kidding. It's a $26 bid to CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you set up with your payment. And let's go on to this next one. It's our very last one. It is the green cards. Wow, did we see? I think we saw every single card except the Gilded Goose. We saw two Once Upon a Times. One of them was Foil, this last box. We saw a Questing Beast. We saw the Showcase Love Struck Beast. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think we saw a Great Henge too. We just saw value on top of value on top of value. Green is hot fire, I'm telling you right now. It's just so easy to get so much amazing value and powerhouses out of this uh, one lot alone. Like, seriously, you just even just getting a Gilded Goose and a Once Upon a Time, there you go. You've made, like, 20 bucks right there. Easy. Easy. So, get your bids in. Exclamation mark, bid, space, whole number. Let's get in there. Let's go. I'm excited to open some more packs for you all. It's like we're... Oh, no, no, no. People coming in hot here. Coming in with those last-second bids. We're going to try and get some more amazing green hits. I can't wait to see what we open. I would love to see that extended art questing beast. Maybe an extended art once upon a time or gilded goose. Get that exclamation mark goose. Honks in the chat. Big old honks. Very excited. Very excited to see what we got going on here. Current high bid is $35. Exergen. Is that going to be it? Let's see it. Let's see it. We got scoop phase. Scoop phase. So that's probably going to mean Exergen. It's going to take it away here. And there it is. With a winning bid of $35. Exergen wins. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. And we'll get you set up. Ready to go. Let's bring it on back here. Hey there, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to release day for Throne of Drain. Who's hyped for the set? Who's hyped to play some FNM tonight? Who's ready to play tons of arena? Tons of big standard events coming up. I'm excited. I know you all are. I can't wait to open these boxes and these packs. But you know what? First and foremost, I think we got to do another giveaway. I mean, it's, it's release day, right? Might as well give you an opportunity to get some dang Throne of Eldraine cards. Let's go. Exclamation mark, enter. Get yourself in here. I swear to Red Doyle, if you win this again, there's so much rigged. So much rigged action going on here. I will just say right now, remember everybody, if you do win one of these gift certificates, unfortunately, we cannot let you use them for this auction. It's weird mixing of taxes and stuff like that. You can't cross those streams, unfortunately, but we can get you in here and <laughs> hook you up with some sweet, sweet cards or D&D stuff or supplies or whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be magic. You could go and get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards. Mark Daly, our uh, wonderful What's in the Box master here is uh always streaming the pokemon i hear he's streaming from our waterford store later on this weekend as uh on his stream twitch.tv slash crammy lad better get in there follow him and check out his content he's fantastic he streams every week 
uh, with Cool Stuff Inc. or at the Cool Stuff Inc. Maitland location, and he does such a good job, and I love it. I love watching his streams. If you like watching, if you like watching, playing Pokemon, what have you, definitely check him out. So, remember, get yourself in there! Exclamation mark! Enter for this giveaway. I'm sure we're getting pretty close now. How close are we, guys? We are just waiting on two more, Kendra. There it is. Two more. Two more to go. So you better get yourself in here if you want to earn some easy, easy gift certificates. It's coolstuffinc.com. It's free money, right? You know, it's free real estate. <clears throat> Might as well get in here. Get yourself some lands. Those, I mean, have you seen the prices on those shock lands? Have you seen the prices on those fetch lands? They're not cheap. And $25 goes a long way towards all of those cards. So you know what? You might as well get in on it and get going here. Especially since we're going to get really close here. to opening these packs and these boxes. And I can't wait. I can't wait. ASMR. No. <laughs> all right. Get those bids in. Or get the... Uh, Get those entries in, everybody. Nothing doesn't cost nothing, and you could actually walk away with something. So, might as well get on in here. Just waiting on that go ahead. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. What? Are, what so, what's everybody playing tonight? You going doing anything awesome for F and M? Playing anything sweet standard wise? Or are you just looking to draft? You looking to get some uh, fresh cards for throwing over the drain? What, what are we? What are we doing? What you got going on here? Tell me what you got. How about that blue common land for Popper? Yeah, Mystic Sanctuary is definitely the best card in the set. Kendra, we are good to go. Oh boy, there we go. We're set. We're ready. I can't wait. So you know what? Let's go ahead and hit that giveaway. Let's 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 pick us a winner so we can get going and open some sweet packs here. I can't wait. I know, I know Rowan here. Rowan can't wait either. So let's get in here. Greylord72, congratulations for winning. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you set up. In the meantime, we're going to get going with this box. Let's go with this hand cam. Handy cam. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Red Doyle with the rigs command. Ha! The list of things I've seen now contains everything. If you get that reference, you're great people. <laughs> Alright. Remember, everybody, we are skipping some commons and just going straight, straight into the fun. Alright. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Marleaf Pixie, Frogify, and a rare Mirror Maid. Good start, good start. We'll take it. I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. All right. We got Sir Kara the Bold, Fairy Vandal, Rampart Smasher with a rare Castle Locked Wayne. Very nice. All those castle cards are very strongly playable in standard, maybe even modern, possibly even legacy. Definitely great cube cards across the board. I can't wait to play with all of them. We've got a giant opportunity here with these packs and these auctions. Wonder Mare, Improbable Alliance, and a folio of fancies. I'm telling you, if you play a draft tonight and you see this card, you better take this card. It will win you games that you probably don't even deserve to win half the time. It is ridiculous in how effective it is. All right. Marleaf Pixie, Grum Gully the Generous, Venerable Knight, and a rare Castle Garenbrig. Very nice. This is definitely one of the better castle cards and very playable in standard. I'm playing it in standard on Arena right now in... Uh, the Simic mid-range or food, Simic food deck, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it definitely puts in some serious work. We've got an Inquisitive Puppet, Joust, Inspiring Veteran, and a rare... Oh, that's a Mythic. That's blue. 
See that three one? I think we just hit it, everybody. We hit a brazen borrower. Finally. There it is. We're getting the sleeve. We're getting the sleeve. We finally did it, everyone. We finally did it. Putting that right there. Right there. Very nice. Took us long enough. You guys hype yet? I'm hype. Drown in the lock. Tireless snacker. Order of Midnight. And a rare Castle Ardenvale. We're hitting all the castles already. And you know what? I love it. You love it. Fantastic. All right, let's go. We've got a Clockwork Servant. Steel Claw Lance. Cauldron's Gift. And a rare Happily Ever After. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. So much real estate indeed. You can't go wrong with the real estate. We'd very much like to see some uh, Fabled Passage real estate in here too at some point. Alright, we got a Deafening Silence, Thunder Snapper, Slaying Fire, and a rare Doom Foretold. Very nice. Excellent for that gold multicolor winner. Let's go, let's go, let's keep it going, keep it rolling. We got a Deathless Knight, Kenrith Transformation, Fairy Vandal, and a rare... What? Murderous Rider! Heck yes, Murderous Rider Showcase, we're getting the sleeve on that one. That's like a cool $25, $30 easy right there. Such a good box, such a good box so far, you love to see it. You love, 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 love to see it. All right, but well, we got to keep moving. We got an Embrith Shield Breaker. Whoa, Showcase Beanstalk Giant. Heraldic Banner and a rare Wildborn Preserver. Very, very nice. What the? Another Foil Stone Coil Serpent? Yeah, yeah, we're going to get the sleeve there. Very much so. Heck, yes. Yes, we are. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. These packs are absolutely wild. We got an Okame Ranger, Showcase, Mysterious Pathlighter, Arcanist Owl, and a Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Very nice, very nice. Heck yeah. We got Tournament Grounds. Red Cap Melee, Tireless Snacker, and a rare Wish Claw Talisman. Very, very nice. Told you guys, Black's killing it there. Every time they're like pretty consistent in how well they're doing here. We've got us a Spinning Wheel, Skull Knocker Ogre, Grum Gully the Generous, and a rare Gadwick the Wizened. I think we got a foil here. Trail of Crumbs. Very nice, very nice. Excellent. Trout comes is another one of those super, super good and uh, limited. Definitely take it if you see it. We got Deafening Silence, Ferocity of the Wilds, Beanstalk Giant, and a rare Witch's Vengeance. Very nice. I think we got a foil here too. Garen Break Paladin. Very nice. But we got still like two thirds of this box left, so let's go on an adventure, everybody. Right into the heart of this box. I'm hype, I'm hype. Glass, a glass casket. Showcase Flaxen Intruder. Cauldron Familiar. And a rare Outlaw's Merriment. Very nice. And I think there's a foil here, too. Bell of the Brawl. Very nice, very nice. It's like heavy metal song that I always think of whenever I see that card because of a lyric in the song. Uh, Spinning Wheel, Skull Knocker Ogre, Bog Naughty, and a rare Fervent Champion, Javier Dominguez, coming in to greet us. Very, very nice for that red lot winner. Love it, love it. All right, all right, all right. 
We got a Rally for the Throne, Shine Chaser, Sage of the Falls, and a rare Yarbo, Lord of Garenbrig. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, what do we got now? Some more goodies? I think so. Shepherd of the Flock, Okame Adversary, Burning Yard Trainer, and a rare Castle Vantress. Very nice with a foil of borrow witches. <coughs> I think at this point we've seen just about every one of the castles in this box. And you know what? We'll take that. Free real estate is always good real estate, if you ask me. Revenge of Ravens, Resolute Rider, Witches Oven, and a rare Hush Bringer. Shh. And a Wandermare foil. Very nice. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Enchanted Carriage, very nice. Fireborn Knight, Righteousness, and a rare Iron Crag Feet. Heck yeah, very nice. Saw an extended frame one of that in the last box, along with that Torbon, and that box or that pack was ridic for the red winner. Sir Power of the Bold, Deafening Silence, Rampart Smasher, and Iron Crag Pyromancer to go along with that Iron Crag feat. Heck yes, very nice. We'll take that. Thank you very much. We've got a Mystical Dispute, Sir Eleanor the Discerning, Cauldron Familiar, and a rare Wicked Wolf. Heck yeah, very playable and standard right now with... A basic island foil. Excellent. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <clears throat> love it. Love it. We've got Once in Future, First Sung Common, Spectre Shriek, Bell of the Brawl, and ooh, that's a mythic right there. Nothing here says that's probably an Ember Cleave. There it is. No sleeve on that one, but that is still sweet. Red, Red Lot's doing pretty good here so far. So, you know what? We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. We've got Drown in the Lock. Shepherd of the Flock. Order of Midnight. And a rare Escape to the Wilds. Very nice. Yeah, no. Red, Red's doing pretty good this time around. You, you gotta love it. And you gotta remember, too, it's not just the rares, it's the uncommons, too. That, like, Slaying Fire is really good. We're seeing, like, I mean, um, Drowning the Lock, too. These are some of, like, the last pack and everything. Drowning Lock's a couple dollars. I mean, always good stuff. We got Sorcerer's Broom. We got a Joust. And we got a rare Sundering Stroke. Very nice. With a beloved Princess Foil. Excellent. Let's keep it going. Keep it rolling. We got Claim the Firstborn. Sir Eleonora. The Moderata. And a rare Faeborough Elder. Very nice. It's like that uh, second coming of Bloom Tender. Card needs a reprint desperately. But you know what? Faeborough Elder. We'll take that. And if you're in those multicolors like that, oh, we'll probably get there. Falmire Knight. There's the one I keep trying to think of. Card's great, and that is a beautiful showcase. A Deathless Knight, Kenner's Transformation, and a rare Showcase Bone Crusher Giant with a Rim Rocket Knight. Very, very nice. Very nice. No sleeve on that one, but that is a gorgeous card. It's on that sleeve for a reason, or it's on that slide for a reason. Red is just crushing it this time around. Ember at Shield Breaker. Sir Alan the Lion's Claw, Edge Wall Innkeeper, with, up, uh, get those honks in the chat, honk, it's Gilded Goose, it's a goose, it's the Goosey Boy, <laughs> there we go, getting in there, alright, so we've got Keeper of Fables, Overwhelmed Apprentice, Frogify and a rare Midnight Clock with a, ooh, 
Foil Clackback Troll. That's a really nice one. Look at that. Check that one out. We're getting a sleeve on that one. Foil Rares, very nice, especially when they're uh, Desecration Demons, basically. We're going to slip that right under there. Yep, yep, yep. The goose sure is loose. That's for sure. But we have to keep it going on. So we got a nice animating fairy. We got all that glitters. Bell of the Brawl and a Sorcerer Spyglass. Very nice, very nice. Keep moving though. Keep moving on. We got a Lucky Clover. Tournament Grounds. Red Cap Melee and a rare Oath Sworn Knight with a Steel Gaze Griffin Foil. Very nice. Oath Sworn Knight is a fantastic card and a very excellent re uh, reference to one of the best moments of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Got a Ferocity of the Wilds, Beanstalk Giant, and a rare Stone Coil Serpent. <laughs> we just can't stop opening this card. And it's not a bad one to keep open, let me tell you that much. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a Wintermore Commander, Hypnotic Sprite, Edgewall Innkeeper, and a... Oh, it's a Mythic? It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a Realm Cloak Giant. There it is. Very nice, very nice. Great card, very playable and standard right now. You'll love to see it. Oh, look at that. We got another Fallmire Knight. Showcase, very nice. We got a Venerable Knight, Bognati, and a rare Castle Embereth. Is that the second one we've seen in, that in this box? I think so. Lots of castles, though. Anyway, we'll, we'll take those castles. Castles are fantastic. All right. So we got one more pack after this one, but we got to go through this first. Keeper of Fables, OK my Adversary, Burning Yard Trainer, and a Giant Killer. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's see, let's see. Last pack before this collector's booster. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. What'd you get? What'd you get? What? What? Claim the Firstborn. Epic Downfall. Turn into a Pumpkin and a rare Clackback Troll to clean us out here. Take us home. All right, everybody. So we got one last one. It's the fancy, smancy collector's booster let's see what we got we got weaselback red cap Ooh, mystic sanctuary this is a super good one super good for popper and all other formats legacy modern what have you spore cap spider Ooh, foil smitten sword master that's a goodie searing barrage inspiring veteran spinning wheel we've got Steel Claw Lance with Showcases, Flaxen Intruder, Tween Bell, Tree Folk, Rimrock Knight, Banish into Fable as our ancillary card. That's really cool. And an extended frame, Wildborn Preserver. Very nice. And we got another extended frame here, too. It is Castle Vantress Foil. Heck yeah. We'll take those right now. We're going to sleeve those bad boys up. Heck yeah, we are. Jeez, the Mystic Sanctuary is a $10 foil? Unreal. Heck yeah. Well, let's bring it on back to me then. Look at that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and put this nice little Mystic Sanctuary in a sleeve too. I think it's right about there. Let's go ahead and do that. Very nice cards. Excellent. Well done to uh, the winners here. We find, And we even finally found a, uh, a Brazen Borrower as well. So you know what? I think we're going to get there. So we got two more boxes to go. Plenty, more Oko, plenty of Okos yet to open. More Planeswalkers and everything. And we got two more. So we're just going to you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a five minute break and come right back and do two more. I can't wait. Hope to see you then. See you shortly.
foil a Johnny the Great Hearted. Okay. That happens. Oh, and then we got a foil to the fairy! That is a one-two punch, everybody. That's the one and that's the two. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're here to do this. Ooh, there it is. What did I tell you? Finale of Devastation. We get in the sleeve on that one, y'all. That is a foil mythic finale of glory. Whoa. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, yeah! Woo woo! Corn! Oh. <laughs> Wow. And that's a foil Nissa who shakes the world. What? Ilharg the Raze Boar. Yes, please. Oh! oh snap. There it is. We did it, I fam. knew it. That's Gideon freaking Blackblade. Yes, it is. I got an opening hand right here of awesome. Ooh, a Lilian. Oh! Liliana boys. Did we get there or did we get there? Woo! And it's Liliana boys. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Is it Liliana? Oh, it's Liliana. Look at that lady. She's been waiting to find us. Vivian, Karn, that's a nice looking Karn too. Woo, and that is a foil Narset. Alt art, people, a foil Narset. Woo, and we got ourselves a Nicobolus. Look at that Nicobolus, foil Narset, foil Vivian. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Oh my God, it's the alternate art Tamio. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, alternate artwork to Fairy. Wow. <laughs> so not only did they find the alternate artwork Nickel Bolas Dragon God, they also get the alternate artwork Karn. And a, a Altar Nissa as our first pack. Woo! And then we got the Altar Domri. Very nice. Woo! We got that foil Alt Art Nahiri. She is beautiful. She's looking great. We're putting that in a sleeve. And then we got an Alt Art Ugin as well in the same pack. Oh, oh foil. Alt Art Rowl. That is a foil. Oh, ah! And then we got the Liliana. It's okay. We're just going to take a few minutes and look at her. Because <laughs> we haven't seen her in a couple days. In a couple. All the alt arts. Nicobolus, Japanese Nicobolus. Japanese Nicobolus. Starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. Mox Tantalite in a foil, boys. We got there. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil Force of Negation. That's a foil giver of runes. Yes, it is. Yagma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. The flavor is strong. <laughs> there it is! Look at that artwork. Look how dope that is. Oh my god. Foil Fire Islet. Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands. Same pack. Thank you. We got there. Mox Tantalite Foil. Busted. <laughs> this is what I wanted. I want this in my deck. So bad, so busted. We got the Ren and Six. We got the Hex Drinker. We got Sarah. Like all of those. We've been waiting. Unbelievable. Oh. 
Ooh, we're starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil force of negation. Jace, the mind sculptor. Yes, please. <laughs> Yagma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain Magic has ever seen. Mox Tantalite Foil. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Foil Fire Islet. Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands. Same pack. Oh my god, let's just see what rares behind this thing. <laughs> Oh, I can't! I can't! That is a foil. Oh, ah! And then we got the Liliana. We got her. Hey there, everybody! Welcome back once again to the magical mystery auction here on CoolStuffInc.com. I am Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl, here to host some more sweet, sweet Throne of Bell Drain box openings. We've been doing pretty good here so far. Um, we had a ton of fire yesterday, and some pretty great boxes today, including... Um, our last little, uh, that one box that we had that had some, all the goodies like, um, Once Upon a Time, Foil Once Upon a Time, uh, two, Multiple Planeswalkers, you name it, we had it. So, so awesome. So now though, we've got two more boxes. We got one, this box right here with this collector's booster pack, or cl booster pack, I should say. We're not doing full collector's booster boxes. And then we got one more immediately after that. After we take a little break, of course, just to clean things up. So, let's go into this uh, auction here. Let's check out these slides, see where we're at, so we can kind of just explain it for those who are just tuning in for the first time. We're going to be going through first with the gold cards, colorless cards, and lands. Uh, you also get any tokens out of there as well. And then we got the white cards, blue cards, black cards, red cards, and green cards in that order. Good old Wooberg. So with that, let's just jump right in. Let's go. Gold cards, colorless cards, lands, tokens, all the goodies, all the goodies. Let's fire it up. Here comes the auction. Let's go. We have not seen any Okos yet. This is all one case, guys. We're reminding you of that. We've seen no Okos. We've seen no Fable Passages. We've seen no Alt Frame Planeswalkers of any kind. And those are usually about one per case. So get those bids in exclamation mark bid space whole number that was a very nice mew hunter i saw that and um we get all the castles we saw castles on top of castles last night or uh last night on <laughs> uh, in the last box i should say interesting um and there's just plenty more that we can see out of this box and probably the next one too i'm banking on a couple locos I think we're going to see uh, see a couple Okos. So I, I'm hype. I'm excited. We got a scoop from Wolfman. So feeling like some uh, Mew Hunter's going to get this. Maybe. Unless somebody uh, jumps in that, that, that uh, last second here. Yes, maybe. No. Scoops. Scoops. Big old scoops. And. And. There it is, $71, uh, it's a new Hunter 67. Congratulations, please contact CSI underscore auction help. You know the drill, they'll get you hooked up. Now, move on to the white cards. There we go, let's fire up that auction, let's get going. We have not seen any Circle of Loyalties yet, any Harmonious Archons, nothing, nothing. We need to see uh, more Charming prints. we need to see some more hush bringers we need to see i, I want to see another storybook um frame realm cloak giant we saw two of those things yesterday and they were fantastic i'm excited i can't wait 
get those bids in exclamation mark bid space whole number we'll get you in on this auction right now and there's there's the scoop from wolf man Aaron is awesome you got any more bids anymore anyone else trying to get in on this yep nope seems like some scoops big big old scoops to Aaron nope last second bid in there from Mew Hunter 67 let's see it let's see it we got that circle of loyalty charming prince hushbringer realm cloak giant harmonious archon so many great cards here that we can open up all for your pleasure don't forget the showcase cards too shepherd of the flock showcase we can get that lonesome unicorn showcase so many good cards gotta love it gotta love it i'm hype i'm ready to see it we're seeing more scoops more scoops so is this gonna be it this is it for the white auction let's go let's go i want to move on to this blue one next that's what i want to do and there it is c conlin 86 with the winning bid 21 dollars you know the drill contact seaside underscore auction help and they'll get you hooked up now let's move on to those blue cards blue 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 we saw we've seen all of these cards today and we finally finally saw a brazen borrower on that last box and i think we could get another one here that's what i think i certainly will want to see a showcase one that's what i want to see big bad showcase brazen borrowers you know and you know what i've seen you know that collector's booster pack you know those three non-foil showcase slot car uh cards i saw some one of my friends open up a brazen borrower in that slot we can hit it it doesn't just have to be in the booster packs it can be in that collector's pack in the end there in that uh showcase card slot so i'm excited i can't wait to see what we hit i'm very very excited we can hit another emery we can hit some more mirror maids we can hit a showcase fave of which or fave of wishes fantastic cards all up and down i want to see what we open get those bids in exclamation mark bid space whole number we're seeing some scoops scoops coming in hot we're gonna get we're gonna see a winner here we're gonna see some last second bids what are we gonna do what are we gonna do what do we got we got b b k b cobal wins with a 35 dollar winning bid contact csi underscore auction help and look at you set up so now we move on to the black cards oh boy we've been hitting we've been running hot on black in pretty much every box we've had we've seen rankles we've seen wish claw talismans we've seen the murderous riders we've seen the cauldron of eternities we've seen car great card after great card after great card time after time after time we've seen great uncommons we've seen good commons just, we've seen so many good cards that just really line up well uh for black like every time black seems to be so far from my, what i've seen arguably the most consistent color probably next to like green and maybe multicolor multicolor could be a little swingy sometimes but black has definitely been one of the more strongly consistent colors every time and we did see a murderous rider uh showcase on this last box we saw a rankle extended frame earlier today We've seen Wishclaw Talisman, and there it is. Wolfman1776 wins with a $35 winning bid. You know the deal. Keep, uh, please contact CSI underscore auction help, and they'll get you set up with that payment. we got two more to go, though, now still. So we got, let's dive right in on those red cards. Go in hot and see what we can do. We saw that, uh, we've seen the Showcase Bone Crusher Giant. We've seen a Robber of the Rich, an Ember Cleave, a couple Fervent Champions. We've seen... A full art extended frame Torbran Thane of Redfall foil. So good, so good, so good. Uh oh. Looks like we had a mistake. 
We had a mistake here. I think we need to uh, restart this auction. Sorry, everybody. Hang tight. Hang tight. Graylord, we're, we're going to fix that up here in just a second. Give us just a moment here. Hang tight, guys. Get those Fs in chat. Or you can get some bids. Now we can do this for real. Let's get those bids in, everybody. Let's see it. Let's see it. Huh. Once more with feeling, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. You remember, we see a foil of these, yours. Extended frame, yours. Again, we saw that foil extended frame tour brand, and it was so good. That mighty, majestic beard and that giant axe. So good, so powerful. You love to see it. And um, we will ship anywhere in the world. We'll ship uh, $5 continental US, $15 the rest of the world. So good. And... Uh, if you do happen to win any of these auctions, any of them at all, we'll ship them out probably Monday or Tuesday. It just depends on uh, how the schedule lines up with everything else. So there we go, Graylord. You actually, we actually got there after all. So Graylord seventy two with the winning bid twenty four dollars. Contact CSI underscore auction help, and they will get you set up. Now we got one last one, one last one. Everybody, it's the green cards, the big heavy hitters right here. Let's go. Let's fire it up. You got the Questing Beast. You got the Once Upon a Time. You've got the Great Henge. You've got the Haunt Gilded Goose. So many good cards. So much value. And we, we've seen it all today. Last one was a little iffy, but we still saw we still saw a Gilded Goose. We still saw some great ones. But then we had a box before that. It was just two Once Upon a Time, a Questing Beast, Great Henge, and a Showcase Love Struck Beast. Just so good. So good. So good. I'm hyped. I'm I I ugh. I can't wait. I'm so so excited to see what we get going on here in this next uh, box. And it looks like we're seeing some scoops. So we're getting close. We're getting close to that end finally. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Nope. 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 There it is, there it is, Wolfman1776 with the winning bid of 39 whole dollars. Please contact CSI underscore auction help, process your payment, and we'll get it going. So, you know what? Let's come on back here. Oh boy, everybody. Who's excited? Throne of Eldrain. I can't wait for these right here. And again, you know... Got Rowan back here to give us some good luck. I can't wait. But right now, we still got to wait on these payments to go through. It's, hopefully it doesn't take too long. But you know what? I think it's time we give you something. It's release day after all. Come on. Let's go. Another giveaway. Another one. <laughs> $25. Gift certificate. Cool stuff, Inc. Get those entries in. Exclamation mark. Enter. Spam them. Spam them. Let's get them in here. Throw them in here. It don't cost nothing. Free entry. Free $25 to spend whatever you want. Some cards. Some singles. Booster packs. Supplies. You want some sleeves. Some dice. We've got some really nice metallic dice that I've seen. Get some deck boxes. You can get some RPG stuff. Some board games. I, how many board games do we even have in stock here? It's ridiculous. Something like, I don't know, hundreds? Thousands? I've seen the warehouse. It's It's insane. So I'm, I'm just saying, you want your choice of a board game? Forget Monopoly. Forget, I don't know, Scrabble. Check out some of the other wild games that we got going on. Because there are so many good things that you can choose from. And, uh, but, you know what? We're, we're getting there. We're really close. How are we looking, everybody? We are just waiting on one more, Kendra. Whoa, there it is. Just one. Just one. Easy, easy. 
Excellent. Exclamation mark. Enter. Get yourself in here. Come hang out. Come hang out. Jump in. And yeah, how many? Too many. Is it really ever enough, though? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't believe that for a second. So many board games, so little time. And oh, oh, oh. Kendra, we are good to go. And there it is, everybody. You heard it first, so you know what? Let's go. Let's choose that winner. Come on. Giveaway closing. I swear, Red Doyle, if you win this again. Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, Antonio. If I'm reading that correctly, I, uh, <laughs> congratulations, contact CSI underscore auction help and they'll get you uh, hooked up. So now that, let's go down to this handy, handy cam. And, oh boy, oh, oh boy. Let's, let's get it up, uh, up, uh, right? Rippy, rippy, rippy. Where we should get open boosters in here at some point. <laughs> Have him open some of these packs. That would be that would be wild, wouldn't it? Oh boy. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get these packs just, just out of the way here. Keep that room open for uh the sleeve cards if we need them. And uh don't forget everybody. We're skipping the commons. We're just going straight to the goods. Straight to the goods. Sir Kara. Ferocity of the Wilds. Beanstalk Giant. And an acclaimed contender. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice start. Can you get extended art and regular boosters? You can get the extended art planeswalkers. You cannot get the uh, extended like the extended art other cards, but you can get the planeswalkers. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what we got. We've got a Resolute Rider. All that glitters. Bell of the Brawl and a rare Fervent Champion. There we go. Javier Dominguez blessing us with his presence. And a foil rare Ayara First of Locked Wayne. Very nice. Let's get the sleeve on that one. Getting the sleeve on those foil rares. Heck, yes we are. And Ayara is a good one to start with as far as I'm concerned. Some good Aristocrats. Good, uh, good old black aggro decks I've seen have been doing all right there. So you know what? Let's keep it going. Let's keep the dream real. Keep it alive. We've got Shambling Suit, Mystical Dispute, pa Mysterious Pathfinder. Oh wow! And we got a Cauldron of Eternity, Sweet Mythics right out of the gate. Wow, we're doing we're doing a, black is already doing pretty awesome here as well. So you know, I think we're doing solid to start here. Pretty solid, pretty solid. We got a glass casket. Sir Eleonora, Mad Ratter, and a rare Clackback Troll. Very, very nice. See, this is what I'm talking about. Black coming in hot with that sweet value. All right, all right. We got Skull Knocker Ogre, Bustin' in the Air Swamp, Venerable Knight, Bog Naughty, and a rare Torbran. Thane of Redfall. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Red coming in hot. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Rally for the throne. Shine Chaser. Sir Allen Alliance Claw. And a rare Fabled Passage. Yeah, we're getting the sleeve there. Heck yeah, we are. Let's do it. Free real estate is good real estate, as far as I'm concerned. Congratulations to the uh, the lands winner there. Already running so hot on this value, and this is what I love. This set is just straight gas all around. Shepherd of the Flock, an okay adversary. Burning Yard Trainer, and a rare <clears throat> Dance of the Mans. That's a deck all of its own right now. It's a pretty solid one, too, with that. So let's keep it on rolling. Hopefully we can see the Doom Foretold to go with it. We got a Revenge of Ravens, All That Glitters, Bell of the Brawl, and an Iron Crag Pyromancer. Excellent, excellent. Red, red is just killing it already. So is the black. 
You guys are all winners in my book, though, as far as I'm concerned. Fireborn Knight, Slaying Fire, Righteousness, and a rare Midnight Clock. Very nice. One Side of Time Twisters in EDH seem pretty good to me. It's not too bad in uh, Limited either. I've seen it do pretty pretty wild things there. We've got Sir Kara the Bold, Deafening Silence, Ferocity of the Wilds, and a rare Gadwick the Wizened. I think we have a foil here too. Whoa! Whoa! Foil Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, we're getting a sleeve on that. Foil Showcase Bone Crusher Giant. I've opened one of those myself in my personal box, and I love seeing it. Heck yeah. Red, you are crushing it. Who won that red one? Who won that red one? Greylord? Greylord, you're killing it. Very, very nice. We got Mystical Dispute. Sir Eleonora. Cauldron Familiar. And a rare Fires of In Invention. The red hits just keep on coming. Box is actually on fire. Fantastic. We've got a spinning wheel, venerable knight, bog naughty, and a rare <laughs> iron crag feet. More fuel for the red fire in here. Red is just walking away with every good card in this. That you know, oh, so good. You love it. You love it. Elite headhunter, clockwork servant, cauldron's gift, and whoo, showcase. Love struck beast. So pretty, so gorgeous. Just wow. This box is actually fire right now, as far as I'm concerned. We've got an animating fairy, joust, inspiring veteran, and a rare murderous knight. Yes, please, we'll take that big in the pie. Get out of here. We're gonna get the sleeve on this one. Heck, yes, we are. Even a regular one is still. Sleeve worthy indeed. Fantastic card right there. You love to see it. All right, we've got an enchanted carriage, covetous urge, Sir Conrad the Grim, and a rare Fay of Wishes. Yes, please, with a foil fairy vandal. Heck yeah, we'll take those. Man, such good cards. Ooh, showcase Flaxen Intruder. Claim the Firstborn. Archon of Absolution with a rare Fayborough Elder. Yes, please. Absolutely. Bloom Tenders, we'll take those all day long. See how much Bloom Tenders are going for these days? Whew. All right, we got Foulmire Knight. Kenrith's Transformation, Fairy Vandal with a rare Piper of the Swarm, very nice, and we got a Foil, Forest, heck yeah, we'll take that, excellent, excellent, yeah, B. Kobel, who knew that Red would just get so much straight gas this time around, Giant Opportunity, Edgewall Innkeeper, and a rare Black Lance Paragon with an Elite Headhunter foil. Very nice, very nice. All right. You know what? I don't think we've... I think we've seen one Mythic so far out of this box. So you know what? We've got plenty plenty more to go still, I think. we got a Keeper of Fables. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Frogify. And a rare Opportunistic Dragon. Heck Yeah. Look at all this red in here. There's just so much red all around. All right. Resolute Rider, Animating Fairy, Joust, and a rare Emery Lurker of the Lock. That's what I'm talking about right there. That card is gas o -lean. Super playable in EDH, in Cube, and uh, definitely in Modern. Might even be playable in Legacy and uh, Vintage, too. Lucky Clover, Red Cap Melee, Tireless Snacker, and our rare Harmonious Archon. Very nice with a foil fling. Ooh, Popper Players. There you go. Right there. That card is fantastic. 
having fling and standard t again too is well, it's not too shabby as some might say all right we got an elite headhunter we've got a clockwork servant we've got a beanstalk giant and a rare stone coil serpent with a foil all that glitters we can't stop pulling these things these stone coil serpents i think this is like the sixth or seventh one we've pulled today alone unreal all right we've got a winter moor commander hypnotic sprite edge wall innkeeper and a rare castle embreath man that goes with the land lot but wow are we hitting all the red cards this time around amazing we got skull knocker ogre Ooh, another foul Meyer knight showcase kenworth's transformation and a rare oath swan knight excellent excellent let's go let's go we got okay rider lock dragon turn into a pumpkin and a rare castle locked wayne very nice very nice a nice fat stack of boosters still here to go all right we got an epic downfall a slain fire into the story and a rare once upon a time there we go that's how we do it we're getting the sleeve right there very nice congratulations to the green lot winner there you love to see them steel claw lance revenge of ravens witch's oven and ayara first of lock wayne with a so tiny foil heck yes we'll keep it going all right and we've got a deathless knight deafening silence rampart smasher with a ooh, that's a mythic looks like an ember cleave yes it is very nice very nice we'll take it god red, red is just getting everything here amazing wandermare improbable alliance cauldron familiar and oh that's a mythic that's a blue mythic that is a brazen borrower heck yes we're getting the sleeve look at that we got a showcase foil curious pair too i believe we're getting a sleeve on both of those ones actually yes we are very nice very nice look at that we had such a dry spell of brazen borrowers and now we got we got two between two boxes very good <coughs> hey don't count blackout yet either black's doing pretty well for itself too pretty good box pretty good box Merrily pixie spinning wheel grum gully and a rare sorcerer spyglass very nice with a foil bartered cow i'm glad that they're just keeping uh <laughs> alexa play cheval the red it filters through <laughs> inspiring veteran sage of the falls and a rare castle garen brig very nice excellent excellent tournament grounds drown in the lock order of midnight and a rare honk gilded goose there it is the goose is loose heck yeah you love to see it get those gooses in chat get those honks in chat all right we got steel claw lance cauldron's gift witch's oven with oh that's a mythic that's looks like black and green looks like it's a garrick what that's an all frame yeah yeah that's an all frame garrick right there oh my gosh look at that call best prize there whoa 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 whoa! yeah yeah yeah. we're oh look at that wish it was shiny but jeez 
Congratulations to that multicolor winner. Let's go. Deafening Silence. Enchanted Carriage. Thunderous Snapper. Stolen by the Fae. I think there's a foil. Wildwood Tracker. Yes, 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 yes. Two more packs. Let's go. All right, all right. We got a Deathless Knight. Fairy Vandal, Rampart Smasher, and a rare Castle Ardenvale. It's like uh, Geldor and Outpost. No drawback. Card is ridiculous. I love it. All right. We got one more booster here. And then our Collector's Pack. We've got Sorcerer's Broom, Ember Shield Breaker, Heraldic Banner, and a rare Castle Vantress. And I think we got a foil here. With a Castle Locked Wayne. Very nice. I think that's... Three foil rares in one box? We'll take that. We're getting the sleeve. Very, very nice. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, you know what? We're going to we're gonna open this. And we're going to get in here and see what kind of goodies we got coming our way. We've got Tall as a Beanstalk, Shining Armor, Seven Dwarfs Foil, Mantle of Tides, Roving Keep, Out Muscle, Skull Knocker Ogre, Deathless Knight, Overwhelmed Apprentice, Silver Flame Squire, Reaper of Night, Tween Veil Tree Folk. Now we've got our ancillary card. It's Rowan, Fearless Spark Mage. Heck yes, we'll take that. That's another sleeve card right there, but we're going to check these other cards first before we get that sleeve. See this first uh, is just a rare for this extended art, but it is an escape to the wild. Heck yeah. And this other one is Folio of Fancies. Check these out. These are gorgeous. Very nice. Very nice. <coughs> yeah, Red, Red absolutely crushed it this time. But that's not to say anything. Black did really well here. Green did pretty good for itself. And then, I mean, Multicolor. Multicolor walks away with this. This bad boy right here. So let's, uh, let's bring it on back here. Just... Mm. Ah, so good. So good. So good. So good. Yeah, we, we did amazing on this box. And you know what? We still got one more. See, so let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll just clean this up here and get this nice and ready for you, all of you to take on home. And we'll uh, be back in just a few minutes. I'm Kendra Smith here at Cool Stuff Inc. headquarters in Orlando, Florida. The Magical Mystery Auction. And we'll be back shortly. So don't go anywhere. Hang tight. We'll be right back. Foil of Johnny the Great Hearted, okay. That happens. Oh, and then we got a foil of Whoa. the fairy! Gee. Oh, oh my God. another <laughs> Teferi! Get out of here! Holy crap, that is a one two punch, everybody. That's the one and that's the two. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're here to do this. Ooh, there it is. What did I tell you? Finale of Devastation. We get in the sleeve on that one, y'all. That is a foil mythic finale of glory. Whoa. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, yeah! Woo woo! Card! Oh, <laughs> sick. Wow. And that's a foil Nissa who shakes the world. What? Ilhar the Razebore, yes, please. Oh! oh snap. There it is! We did it, I fam. knew it! That's Gideon freaking Blackblade. Yes, it is. I got an opening hand right here of awesome. Ooh, a Liliana! Oh. Ooh, and it's a Liliana, boys. Did we get there or did we get there? Ooh, and it's Liliana, boys. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Is it Liliana? Oh, it's Liliana. 
Look at that lady, she's been waiting to find us. That's a nice looking car in too. Oh, and that is a foil Narset. Alt art, people. A foil Narset. Ooh, and we got ourselves a Nicobolus. Look at that Nicobolus. Foil Narset, foil Vivian. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Oh my God, it's the alternate art Tamio. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, alternate artwork to fairy. Wow. <laughs> so not only did they find the alternate artwork Nicol Bolas Dragon God, they also get the alternate artwork Karn. And an Altar Nissa as our first pack. Woo! And then we got the Altar Domri. Very nice. Woo! We got that foil Alt Art Nahiri. She is beautiful. She's looking great. We're putting that in a sleeve. And then we got an alt art Ugin as well in the same pack. Oh, oh foil. Alt art Raoul. That is a foil. Oh, ah! And then we got the Liliana. It's okay. We're just going to take a few minutes and look at her because <laughs> we haven't seen her in a couple days. In a couple. All the alt arts. Nicobolus, Japanese Nicobolus. Japanese Nicobolus. Starting the game off strong, boys. You got there. You did it. You did it. Mox Tantalite in a foil, boys. We got there. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil Force of Negation. That's a foil giver of runes. Yes, it is. Yagma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. The flavor is strong. <laughs> there it is! Look at that artwork. Look how dope that is. Oh my god. Oil Fiery Islet. Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands. Same pack. Thank you. We got there. Mox Tanzelite Foil. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> this is what I wanted. I want this in my deck. So bad, so busted. We got the Ren and Six. We got the Hex Trigger. We got Sarah. Like all of those. We've been waiting. Unbelievable. Starting the game off strong, boys. We got there. We did it. We did it. That's dope. Okay, what's the rare? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Foil Force of Negation. Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Yes, please. <laughs> Yagma, there he is. The biggest, baddest villain magic has ever seen. Mox Tanzelite Foil. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Oil Fiery Islet! Two Horizon Canopy Style Lands! Same pack! Oh my god, let's just see what rares behind this thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't! I can't! That is a foil! Oh! Ah, and then we got the Liliana! We. Got her.
Welcome everybody, welcome back to the Magical Mystery Auction, CoolStuffInc.com. I'm your host, Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl. And we're here with some Throne of Eldraine. We're doing one whole booster box and one collector's booster pack. No boxes for the collector's uh, packs, unfortunately. But we've done four boxes so far. We did five yesterday and you know what? That means we got one more today. How about that? We've seen some hot fire boxes today. Uh, last one had a, a borderless uh, frame Garrick. Uh, we've seen, I mean, our second box was just insane. We had double uh, Once Upon a Time. We had Questing Beast. We've seen, I mean, we've seen a couple Brazen Borrowers today. We've seen a Showcase Murderous Rider. The hits just keep coming. I'm sorry. So we're going to... Um, going deep we got one last box here and uh i'm itching to open it so let's go right in let's see these let's see check out these slides here and uh we've got the gold cards the colorless cards lands etc and then we're gonna go white blue black red and green in that order we'll be doing this all day here so you know what we're just gonna dive right on in so let's go let's go we'll start fire up this first auction for the gold cards the colorless cards lands etc and you know what there's a lot of value here everybody i'm telling you do you know what we have not seen today do you know what we haven't seen we have not seen an oko we have not seen an oko today four boxes all from the same case that's right they're the same case we've not seen one oko yet it's time, everybody. It is time for us to see an Oko. So you better get those beds in, because you better believe we're going to see an Oko this time around. I believe it, 100%. And, you know, and that's not to say anything about those Garricks, Royal Scions. We've seen only one Fabled Passage. I think we got another one in us. Definitely. At least one more. Maybe this will be a duplicate box where we see multiple Fabled Passages. Wouldn't that be something? You got all the castles. We keep seeing a bunch of those castles. We actually got a foil castle lock queen on that last box. Very, very nice. I can't wait. Faber Elder and Stone Coil Serpent. Everybody, we've opened two foil Stone Coil Serpents out of the, these uh, boxes so far today. And we've seen like five or six non foils. We can't stop getting this card. It's amazing. I think we're definitely going to hit some serious gas in this time around. I, I just, mm, Oko, Oko, I just, it's time, we gotta see Oko, go Broco for Oko, there it is, come on, let's go, I'm ready, are you guys ready, I'm hype, I'm super hype, let's get, it. if you wanna get in there, exclamation mark, bid, space, whole number, Get yourself in there. Get into that mix and bid on the sweet, sweet lot of cards from this box. I'm hype. I think we can do it. I believe in us. We're going to make it. We're going to get there. <clears throat> hit hard, hit fast, hit strong. We're going to do it. <clears throat> Remember, if we see a foil, if we see a foil, Oko, that's yours. Seriously. Hype is real on this one <clears throat> and uh don't forget we'll ship anywhere five dollars to the uh continental us 15 everywhere else and even if you don't want to bid you know what you know you just hang around hang tight we got tons of excellent box up oh, yeah it looks like that one was too late unfortunately mew hunter but that was very nice i will say so you know what, though? Unfortunately, Kinzoko wins uh, with the winning bid, $67. Please contact CSI underscore auction help, and they'll get you uh, set up with your payment. So let's move it on to the white cards. Let's get going. White cards for reals. And you know what we haven't seen yet today? We also have, you know, we haven't seen Oko, but we also have not seen a circle of loyalty yet. And I think... I think this time around, we're going to hit it. We're going to see it. That's going to be fantastic. We, 
We've definitely seen some Hushbringers. We've seen some Charming Princes. We've seen actually two Realm Cloak Giants. Not the Showcase one, but we've seen some regular ones. Uh, Harmonious Archon. Yeah, fantastic. Um, are things people won yesterday being sent with the lot these lots today? Yes, they are. I can confirm that. So, let's get yourself in here. Let's go in for these wins. Let's go. So many great white cards. I can't wait. I can't wait to see. Did you guys see that last box with all the red cards? I mean, we could easily, just as easily have something like that happen with white. We'd have something like that happen with blue. Maybe even black. Black always does pretty consistently well, though. Even last time, it did pretty solid. So, wow. Let's go. Let's go. Run hard, run hot. I've got a fever that can only be cured with more cards, more box openings. I'm ready. I'm hype. I'm excited. Tataki coming in hot here so far with that high bid of $23. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, all right. And, and there it is. Tataki with the $23 winning bid. You know the drill. Contact CSI underscore auction help. They will get you hooked up and set up. Now we go on to the next one. Let's go. Let's see it. The blue cards. Brazen Borrower. Emery Lurker of the Lock. Magic Mirror. Mirror Maid. Mirror Mirror on the Wall. The Fae of Wishes. We haven't seen any showcase Fae of Wishes uh, today. We saw two yesterday, though. And you know what we also want to see? I really want to see a... We've seen two Brazen Borrowers. One each in the last two boxes. And I want to see that showcase one so badly. Get those bids in. Exclamation mark, bid, space, whole number. We'll get you in for this sweet, sweet lot for some Throne of Eldraine blue cards. Remember, if you get a foil card, it's yours. You get a showcase card, yours. Get an extended art card, that's yours too. So, fantastic cards all around. Let's get get those bids in. Let's keep it going. Keep it moving. All cards. Any cards that you win today. Ship out most likely on Monday, but maybe on Tuesday. We'll see. Just depends on how everything lines up. So, let's get these bids in and because ah oh, i am just itching itching to crack these packs right here that's what i'm feeling i just can't stop with this pack cracking love it love it and it looks like uh looks like we we're feeling some scoops there some scoops from the red doyle to mew hunter 67 congratulations on your winning bid mew hunter uh, $35. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you hooked up. But now, let's go on to these black cards. And I'm telling you, black has probably been the most consistent color that I've seen across all of the lots so far in these last two days. You better get yourself in here. We've got the Murderous Rider. We've got the Rankle. We've got Cauldron. Wish Claw Talisman. So many good cards. And even at the Uncommon. You got Epic Downfall. You got Order of Midnight. I believe it's a uh, Lockmeyer Paladin. Just so many good cards that we can hit. And I can't wait to see what we open. So many good cards. So many good cards. Blue most consistent for showcase cards. That is correct. I will give you that one. Um, we, again, we've hit like seven hypnotic sprites in the last few days. Although that Lockmeyer Paladin, I think we've hit like seven or eight of as well so you never know but either way we'll take them showcases of all kinds are fantastic they are gorgeous pieces so it looks like we got some scoops here we've got some scooping action so is it gonna be uh feeling like it's gonna be decentic let's see let's see let's see oh red did the best last box no question absolutely no question so we got Black ending, ending, there it is, uh, T. Simic, 2019, the winning bid, $38, you know the drill, CSI underscore auction help, they'll get you hooked up, 
And we got two more to go, so let's go on to the red lot. And look, everybody. I'm sorry, there's no way we are going to beat with that red box last time. The last box that we had, we had, I believe, a Showcase Foil Bone Crusher Giant. We had Embercleave, Fervent Champion, Torbran. We had uh, Iron Crag Pyromancer, Iron Crag Feet, Fires of Invention, Slain Fires, you name it. If it was red, we had it. Card was unreal. Box was incredible. <clears throat> and I I think we're gonna it's gonna be hard pressed to top it in here. Yeah, I agree though, Evan. You're right. That foil robber is a sneaky, sneaky boy. So who knows? And I mean, even if you get an extended frame card, that's beautiful. Extended frame ember cleave. Evan, did you see the that we hit earlier in our second box, our second ever collector pack for the day? We hit a foil extended frame. Tor brand Thane of Red Fail. That's right. We hit a foil extended frame of that card. Amazing. So good. So beautiful. And such a way. What a way to and just an absolutely incredible box. So there it is. We got some scoops here. And unless we see any more bids, it's going to go to C Conlin 86. That twenty-four dollar, that sick twenty-four dollar bid, and it's ending in ten seconds. Everybody, if you want to get in here, just woof. Let go. Let's go. There it is. C Conlin, winning bid twenty-four dollars. Contact CSI underscore auction help, and they will get you set up. We got one more lot for the day. Let's fire it up. It's the green cards. We've got Questing Beast again. We've got Once Upon a Time. We've seen so many Once Upon a Times today. We've seen a cu couple of uh, Questing Beasts. We've seen a couple Showcase Love Struck Beasts. We've seen Honk, some Gilded Geese in here. And I think I think we're going to see plenty more here. And uh, I would really love to see a foil extended frame Gilded Goose. I, I mean, maybe that's just me. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan's right. We had in that same second box where I was talking about last time here, where we had that foil extended art Torbran. We also had a foil Once Upon a Time with a regular Once Upon a Time and a Questing Beast. There's, it's so hard to go wrong with the value on these boxes and in, in these colors. It's just great. It's just straight gas and value across the board. And I, for one, love it. We got a scoop phase here. Going to Mew Hunter, it looks like. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Auction is ending. And there it is. Mew Hunter 37 wins with that sick $37 bid. You know the drill. Contact CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you hooked up. Time, let's let's bring it back here and let's just mmm mmm throne of Eldraine. I love it. It's release day, everybody. So you can go, you can get your packs, you can get your singles, you can get whatever you need. And you know what? We're gonna help you there. With one last giveaway, one more giveaway for the day for a $25 gift certificate to coolstuffinc.com while we wait on these uh payments to come through. Get those entries in. Exclamation mark. Enter. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. You can buy whatever you want. I don't know the exact price off the top of my head. Evan might be able to help out with this one. But I think he gets you uh, pretty close to one of these bad boys right here. Or I can get you quite a nice little chunk of booster packs for Throne of Eldrain. Or it can even get you just some singles that you might need. Maybe a Questing Beast. Maybe... Some uh, Gilded Geese. Think that covers just about a place at a Gilded Geese, am I right? Collector Pack is $29.99. Okay, so it covers almost all of it. Can't tell me you wouldn't want to pay another 5 bucks on top of that just to get one of these bad boy Collector Packs. I know I would. Shoot. <laughs> 
Exactly. Exactly. I've actually considered uh, throwing some money at a collector box. And they look pretty sweet, actually. Hey, uh, Rich, can you actually hand me that empty box there? We've actually got an empty one, I, if you guys haven't seen this yet. And these boxes are pretty. There's uh, nothing in here. We'll just, you know, have this on the side and store in all these packs and whatnot. But look at this. Look at this. this is, you know, obviously it's empty, but it is. it looks very nice. You get fit 12 packs pretty cleanly in here. Upgrade your collection. There it is. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Rich. And uh, Mark, how are we looking? Kendra, we are good to go. Oh boy, already, wow. Heck yes, let's take it. I'll give you guys one last second here to get those entries in. Exclamation mark, enter. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All right, all right. Pick me a winner. Let's see what we got. Boom Vendanti. There it is. Congratulations on your $25 gift certificate. Please contact CSI underscore auction help. They'll get you set up. And now, in the meantime, ooh. I can say thank you so much for that Twitch Prime subscription. Let's get those uh, emotes in chat. Thank you so much. And remember, guys, if you have Twitch Prime, you want to maybe help throw some support at your local, at one your favorite game store. Maybe throw throw a little Twitch Prime. You get some cool emotes. And even if you don't want to subscribe, if you're just tuning in for the first time, you got that nice little heart button right above there that's actually a follow button so go ahead give us a follow and we'll uh it'll notify you whenever we fire up another stream which will almost always usually at least be a lot of pack opening stuff nonsense but right now we've got our winner picked and you know what i think we gotta do i think it's time to open some booster packs how about how do you guys feel about that let's go <clears throat> down to the hand cam. Busting some boxes open. We're gonna crack some packs and take it on home. Let's see it, let's see it. I've got a fever that can only be cured by more Oko. Let's go. All right. Let's go. No, nah, collector's pack has to be open last. Got to build that height. Got that sorcerer's broom. Glass casket. Turn into a pumpkin. And castle Vantress. To start us off. Heck yeah. We love us some castles. Free real estate. Gotta love it. All right. And we got a keeper of fables. Skullknocker Ogre, Fairy Vandal, and a rare Ayara First of Locked Wayne. Very nice. I mean, castles are always pretty good, right? <coughs> Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. Shine Chaser. For Rossi of the Wilds, Inspiring Veteran, and a rare Emery Lurker of the Lock. There it is. There she is. Excellent, excellent hit. Fantastic card. Very, very playable. We love to see it. Fireborn Knight, Witch's Oven, Thunder Snapper, and a rare Doom Foretold. Yes, please. Standard playables, very nice. Let's go. <clears throat> Got once in future, very nice. Claim the firstborn, all that glitters, and a rare Gadwick the Wizened. Excellent, very nice. Let's 
Let's see. Let's see. We've got an Elite Headhunter, Foul Meyer Knight, into the story, and a rare Witch's Vengeance. Very nice. Very nice. I hate that card. <laughs> All right, we've got a Mystical Dispute, Lock Dragon, Frogify, and a rare Stolen by the Fae. Taken away. That's how we do it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We've got an Animating Fairy, Improbable Alliance, Okame Adversary, and a rare Happily Ever After. Very nice with a foil Wicked Guardian. Evil stepmother getting in the way again here. Alrighty, alrighty. We've got a Foulmire Knight, Red Cap Melee, Kenrith's Transformation. Fervent Champion, Javier Dominguez, popping up again with a... Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Foil Showcase, Order of Midnight. We're getting the sleep for that one. Beautiful, beautiful Sid McKinnon artwork. It's like a $12 card, too. You'll love to see him. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, we got a Rally for the Throne, Sir Alan the Lion's Claw, Mad Ratter, and a rare Escape to the Wilds. Very nice. All right. We got a giant opportunity. That's how these auctions are. They're just a big, giant opportunity every time. Okay, Ranger and Archon of Absolution. And, ooh, there's a Mythic. What do we got? What do we got? Circle of Loyalty. I called it. We haven't seen one of these just yet. And we have an Uncommon Foil. Lucky Clover. Very, very nice. Lucky Clover kind of seems to play in standard, too. So that's actually a pretty solid foil. Keep it rolling. This is the one third of the box marker. We've got a Mana Leaf Pixie or Mara Leaf Pixie, Lucky Clover, Cauldron's Gift, and a rare Wildborn Preserver. Very nice. We'll take that. With a foil run away together. How adorable. Alright, alright. We've got a Foul Liar Knight. Overwhelmed Apprentice, Grum Gully, and a rare Castle Locked Wayne. Very nice. Can't ever go wrong with some real estate. All right, all right. We got a glass casket. Ooh, Showcase Flaxen Intruder, Sir Conrad the Grim, and a rare Lock Mirror Serpent. Hey, everybody, we need about Tree Fitty in here. Let's go. I hope soon enough we can get a nice little uh, tree fitty thing in here. All right. We've got Elite Headhunter, Tireless Snacker, Sir Farron the Hedgehammer, and we've got a rare Charming Prince. Very nice. White's doing pretty good there. Excellent, excellent. This is what we like to see. We're here. To make these stories, we got a Wander Mare, Turn into a Pumpkin, Mysterious Pathlighter, a rare Iron Crag Pyromancer. Very nice, very nice. Let's go, let's go. Excellent. All right, we've got a Rally for the Throne, Animating Fairy. Frogify and a rare. Oh, it's a mythic. That's a mythic. Four or five. Harmonious Archon. Very nice. White is getting everything this time around. I'm telling you. Let's 
That's right, damn Loch Ness Monster. I ain't giving you no tree fitty. <laughs> All right, Enchanted Carriage, Covetous Surge, Heraldic Banner, and a rare. Oh, that's a mythic. See that blue? Ah, it's red. It's blue and red. It's Royal Scions. Very nice. We're getting the sleeve on that. Ooh, and a Linden Steadfast Queen. Feels like a double sleeve to me. We'll take it. Very nice. Very nice. White doing pretty dang good here. Heck yeah. Keeping them coming. <coughs> all right, all right. Inquisitive Puppet. Beanstalk Giant. Witch's Oven and a rare. Giant Killer. Very nice. So many good cards from white. I'm telling you. All right. We got a Mystical Dispute. Trail of Crumbs. Righteousness. And a rare Wish Claw Talisman. Excellent. It's on that uh, black slide for a reason. And we've got a mountain as well. Foil to go along with everything. Yeah, we just need that Oko. I'm ready for it. My body is ready. All right, and we've got a Flaxen Intruder, Venerable Knight, Burning Yard Trainer, and a f rare Worthy Knight. Yeah, White's just going all in here, I'm telling you. Okay, okay. We've got a Shambling Suit, Into the Story, Arcanist Owl, and a rare Vantra's Gargoyle. Very nice. Excellent, excellent. We've got a spinning wheel, Wandermare, Bog Naughty, Stormfist Crusader as our rare, and the Oakham Ranger Foil. That's a pretty one. How about that? Alrighty. We've got a Claim the Firstborn, Oakham Ranger. Slaying Fire, and a rare Murderous Rider. Yeah, we're getting the sleeve on that. And there's also a Foil Reaper of Night, but that's not as big or as awesome as Murderous Rider. We'll take that card right there. Easy peasy. All right. We've got Clockwork Servant. Revenge of Ravens, Mad Rata, and a rare Hushbringer. Very nice. Man, what is just crushing it with a foil Spectre's Shriek. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We've got Sorcerer's Broom. <laughs> a Showcase non-foil hypnotic sprite. Again. Seer Farron the Henchhammer. And a rare Piper of the Swarm. Very nice. With a foil youthful knight. Excellent. Hypnotic sprite showcase. Kendra's Invitational card. Interesting. I like it. I approve, personally. I think it's actually uh, Chase, if you all know her on Twitter. Uh, Tournament Grounds, Drown in the Lock, Sir Allen, the Lion's Claw, and a rare Castle Embereth. Very nice with a rare... Ooh, that's pretty. I think I know what that is. That's a Foil Love Struck Beast. Showcase, yeah, we're getting the sleeve. Yeah, we're putting that in the sleeve and putting that right there. Absolutely. Woo, so good. So awesome. All right, all right. We've got a Shepherd of the Flock. Wintermore Commander. Tireless Snacker. And a rare Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Very nice. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. 
Yeah. Got a Resolute Rider, a Fairy Vandal, a Cauldron's Gift, and a rare Fires of Invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, all right. Epic Downfall, Order of Midnight, Frogify, and a rare Sundering Stroke. I think there's... Nope, no foil. Boo! Wanted some foils. There's got to be some foils in this next one then, right? Right? Right. We got Steel Claw Lance, Epic Downfall, Thunder Snapper, and a rare Mirror Maid. Very nice. Great card for all your EDH, cube, what have you. Yeah. Love to see it. Once in Future, Sir Kara the Bold, Beanstalk Giant, and a rare Bone Crusher Giant. Heck yeah. Red's still doing pretty good this time around, everybody. I'm just saying. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Deathless Knight into the story. Sir Conrad the Grim and a rare Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig. Very nice. Let's see it. Let's see it. Got three packs left. I want to see that Oko. Oko's no joko. Drown in the Lock. Venerable Knight. Burning Yard Trainer with a rare Oath Sworn Knight and a foil signpost Scarecrow. Yeah, let's go. Okie dokie. Skipping some commons. Ooh. Ember's Shield Breaker. Very nice. Improbable Alliance. Okame Adversary and a rare Feasting Troll King. We got one more shot at that Oko. I'm feeling good. Feeling good? You guys feeling it? I'm feeling it. What? Spectre Shriek, Grum Gully, Bog Naughty, and one for the. Oh, it's a mythic for sure. Great Henge. Very nice. It's no Oko, but you know what? We'll take a Great Henge. We'll get the sleeve on that too, actually, as a matter of fact. But you know where we can still hit an Oko, everybody? In this last pack, right here. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Arden Vale Tactician, Blow Your House Down, So Tiny, Eye Collector, Merchant of the Vale. That's gorgeous right there. Lonesome Unicorn, Forever Young, Shambling Suit, Ooh, Animating Fairy, Love Struck Beast, regular one to go with the foil, Garen Brig Carver. Rimrock Knight, our sh ooh, ancillary card is a, I think it's a Brawl Legend. Look at that. Chew Lane, Teller of Tales. Heck yeah. We're going to get to sleep on that in just a second, but we're going to see what else we got lurking behind this card right here. It is a Oathsworn Knight. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And our foil is... Clackaback Troll. There it is. Very nice. The Foil Dwarf Token. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Check that out, though. Wow. That's still, like, some hot fire, actually. Like, so even if you didn't get an Oko, um, Kinzoko, you still got a, uh, Chulane, and that thing's, like, I think, like, $25 for a regular one. So you still actually did pretty good there. I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, Let's bring it on back. Let's take a look. So yeah, we, uh, we've done pretty well today. Pretty good here, if you ask me. Just wish we saw an Oko. But you know what, it took us forever, it took us uh, until our eighth box in between yesterday and today to see one Brazen Borrower. So I think next week, 
when we do this again, we're going to see quite a number more. That's right. We're doing this again next week. We're doing every Friday in October. We're doing Throne of Eldrain, one box with one collector's booster, five times over. And uh, I've been having so much fun. I hope you all have had fun. If you're just coming in here, hanging out for the first time, throw a follow up there, that little heart up there, that little heart button, give us a follow. Come in, hang out for the next time. If you, It'll actually notify you once we go live, and then you can join in on the fun. Maybe you buy some cards, join in the auction, or else just hang out and watch us open some sweet, sweet boxes. Thank you so much for everybody who came in here, hang out, participated, and we'll see you next time next week, 12 o'clock Eastern Time, CoolStuffInc.com. I'm Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl. Hit me up here on Twitch, same play, same username, Maverick Girl. Or else hit me up on Twitter, the Maverick Gal. Let me know what you think of these streams. I can't wait. I'm hype. Thanks so much, CoolStuffInc.com, for hosting this. I'll see you next time, everybody.